No. It's Animus, baby. Hi, hi. Hello. Hey. Animus. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Our Chaos Carol. I'm Wiz. And I'll get my lovely players to introduce themselves top to bottom. Oh, I don't have to burp. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Table, and I, today I'm uh, I'm playing Bob and and his uh, his little radio son Rad. Hello, everybody. I'm Heartless, and I am playing Gil Treble. Hello, hello, I'm Vamp, and I am playing King Topiasus and Primrose's trophy husband as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> hello everybody, I'm Sotaro, and I'm going to be playing Sandy Sweet, a sick little gal that's, that's going to have fun. Oh boy. Trophy <laughs> husband, I cannot believe <laughs> Oh my gosh. <sighs> I'm expecting you to say he who magic man again, and that just dog dead. I'm kidding. I was expecting he who oh, magic man again, too. Oh, oh man. A trophy husband. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my. This is going to be quite the game, huh? Oh, man. I'm so pleased. <laughs> Listen, I am not wrong. I am not wrong. Well, that is <laughs> not the point, no. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, so before we get too carried away, um, I have a animus present for all of you guys. Uh, oh. And it is one inspiration point. Oh. Partially because I always forget to give them out and also because I can. Oh, so, yeah. oh, oh nice. Thanks. I'm going to write it down. One Inspiration, Inspiration point. point. Oh. So our anime story is beginning at Marcel's apartment. And all of you are there because, well, Gil and Sandy have been hanging out there a bit. And Marcel has asked Bob to come over. And, um... Bam, do you want to tell us why? Do you remember why? <laughs> do you want me to say? Oh yeah, you go, you go for it, Hot. Okay, so... In the days leading up to Animus, Gil has stopped... being himself. And today, he hasn't even come out of the room he had claimed to be his at all. Which is very unusual, because he usually starts the, the day very loudly, <laughs> waking up everyone else. The boy is doing a sulk. Oh no. Um, <laughs> oh, hey, vamp. <laughs> hey, I'm alive. Hi. <laughs> Did, did we drop out for you for a second there? Well, I heard you guys, but uh, I was trying to p to put in my earphones, but I guess if I use earphones, you guys can't hear me at all. No. Oh, like, oh no. Yeah, so yeah. Um, normal, non-earphone listening it is. Oh. Fair enough. Um, well, we, we shouldn't get too much of a, an echo, hopefully, so we'll just do what we can. Um, did you hear um, Hart explaining about Gil's yeah. mood? Yep. All right. Um, cool. Personal is worried. Very worried. And That's pretty fair. And like he has no idea exactly how like to cheer cheer kill up. Not alone, at least. So he's calling in the cavalry, or in this case, an accountant and his radio son. <laughs> <laughs> does now wait? I have a question. Does he relay these concerns to Bob, or does he just invite Bob to Animus? I think Animus? he would like. I think he would be. He would go. Hey, Bob. Um, listen. I don't know if you have anything you're doing for Animus, but Gil has been kind of not himself lately. Ever since the, you know the, yeah. the, the ball and. 
well, I know he wouldn't say it outright, but he does, he does like, I think seeing you here along with Sandy and all, I think that would cheer him up, hopefully at least. Oh, of course, of course, I'd be happy to come. Actually, this will be perfect. I actually have, I have gifts for you on. So does Rad. Oh, this will be perfect. I'll, oh, just give me a time. Oh, my voice is cracking. Just give me a time and day and I'll be right there. Bob, Ooh. Bob, Bob's actually, Bob, this is Bob's first anim, animus, this is him and Brad's first animus, so they're both very excited to, uh, to take part. So you organize with Marcel to go over, um, about two days before animus and everything is going bonkers all across Toontown and you get the impression it's not localized here it's likely to be bonkers just about everywhere in Anquell um and uh have you has Bob been to Marcel's apartment before I huh I don't think so no probably not okay so um I, I can just a picture because it's an apartment so I can just picture Bob and Rad sort of trotting up and down the halls with a little piece of paper checking the numbers and stuff going up the, <laughs> in the apartment building but it's not um actually do you want to roll roll a um probably an investigation to see if you get lost in the apartment complex oh, oh my god, god. <laughs> i want to say bob's not unfamiliar with apartment complexes they did have those in no man so no that's true oh, actually no i have a plus seven in oh that's 13 <laughs> Can I yeah, fine. no it's easy it's, it's okay. not like a maze or anything. It's I, I um, you, it's just a matter of finding the right stairwell, and the the signs are pretty clear, so you can find it. Nice. And you can come up to Marcel's door. Knock, knock. Ah, uh, come in. <laughs> oh yeah, Shen already has the door. Teddy <laughs> opens the door. It's like, ah, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and then oh, Nidley hugs them. Uh, they are. <laughs> hi, 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 hi. Come on. Hello, it's good to see you. Do it, do it, do it. And she just, <laughs> like, picks them up and then moves them over inside the, the apartment. Sandy's <laughs> 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 uh, no going a mile a minute. They have no means to argue this, but they're not gonna. They're, too, they're very happy to see Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Is um, Gil still in his room? Yes. <laughs> okay. S someone is going to have to retrieve him from his room. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Gilly! Oh. Bob and Rad are here! Gilly! Gilly! Hi, what Gil. day is oh. it? Uh, I don't know. What day is it? Oh, oh it's, uh, uh... If we are assuming that Animus is on the 25th, like Christmas is, then it is the 22nd. It's the 22nd. Come back when it's next year. <laughs> Oh, next but, year. oh, but it's, I'm supposed, I was, I was told that you have to give presents before the end of the year. There's a, a shuffling sound and a uh, very gloomy looking Gil opens the door. There is a rumbling storm cloud hanging over his head and he's kind of sloppily dressed in that nice kimono oh. that he oh. owns. Wait, we had to get presents? There's presents? Wait, what? Uh, Sandy, you were so excited to pull Bob in. Uh, Bob and Rad have, have uh, in their arms, have been carrying, uh, wrapped, uh, wrapped, uh, animus presents. I have to not say Christmas, God. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, Bob, Bob holds up the ones that are in his arms for, for Gil to see. Gil very slowly blinks and then looks at everyone else and then back at Bob. Uh, hold on a moment. And he uh, slams the door. 
<laughs> and behind it, um, there's some uh, hijinks and explosion. He says, shoot, crap. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's, going what's going on? Are Billy? you okay in there? I Billy? love the sound effect gag. That's wonderful. <laughs> oh god! And he opens it, and he's nice and clean now in his uh, regular jacket. <laughs> oh, that was quick. Billy! Did he manage to disperse the the cloud, or is, does he still have a pet cloud? No, the cloud's still over his head. Oh. <laughs> Pet cloud. It, it I think gives... Rad's gonna try and touch it. <laughs> it gives a little gloomy rumble of thunder, but thankfully it has not started raining on him. I think uh, Rad is gonna. Oh boy. Rad, Rad, Rad does, Rad's four years old. Uh, he doesn't know the, the intricacies oh, no. of when you're supposed to give presents. So Rad is is gonna place a uh, a little uh, a little rubber ducky on top of Gil's cloud, and it's painted to look like Gil. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Ooh, what's that? Gil's gonna watch this happen and go, uh, huh? Do it, do it. Uh, Rad looks just looks very happy, and he gil and he gives Gil a big hug. <laughs> and he's gonna then then Rad's gonna go, gonna go to Sandy and also hand Sandy a little rubber duck that's painted to look like her. Oh, it, it's, it's me, but not it's not me. It's small me. It's little me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> she goes to hug Rad. Rad hugs back. Um, and then Rad's gonna gonna run into further into the apartment to go find Marcel to give him his ducky. He is probably in the kitchen. You you just hear like you just hear the wall from the kitchen that's like he doesn't <laughs> like tackling his legs. Yeah, Rad Rad does in fact tackle Marcel. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but Bob but Bob remains with, with Gil and Sandy and is just smiling every he's just very happy. Oh uh Brad wanted to make gifts, gifts for you guys, and he had me buy, uh, well, he had me buy out all the rubber ducks at Glorf's. <laughs> so that's where they all went. They're called rubber ducks? Yeah. I, I, I couldn't say no. He's been giving everybody, uh, rubber ducks for enemas. That's so cool! How? I didn't know you had to go get gifts! How nice. How can I, how can I, how can I, I need to, I need to get gifts that, hmm. Oh, that's okay. That's okay, Sandy. I'm told it's not, it's a thing. I was told that it's something you can do, but it wasn't a requirement. Uh, he looks at you, Gail, questioningly. He's not super sure. Um, <laughs> uh, oh dear. <laughs> Gail kind of like, Goes, mm -hmm. uh, kind of bristling, and goes, well, it's better to get a gift than to not get one. Yeah. But now we got one, so that's good, right? I suspect that it might be a good idea for Bob to do an insight check. Yeah, this. I was just about to ask if I should. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just go ahead and... So six plus two. Thirteen again. What? Uh, Lucky number. <laughs> Why am I getting thirteen? No, this is this probably isn't very hard because he's not really trying. There is a dark cloud above his head, and he asked what day it is. And when you told him he said come back next year. There's probably a good chance that Gil's Past animus was terrible. Hmm. Bob's uh, gonna think about that. And the comment about getting getting gifts, yeah, he probably never uh, got any. <laughs> hmm. Bob's gonna think about that. And then he's gonna uh. And then actually, no, he's gonna call. To, he's gonna call over to the kitchen. Uh, 
Hey, Marcel, what's, um, what's the plan for today, exactly? Wiz, what is the plan for today? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, there is, if anybody would like to do me a perception. Oh, yes, uh, I love doing perception. I get a minus I know two. You do. I know you do. 15! Oh, 20 and 24. 24, that's more like it. Beauty! Um, there is, on the dining table, and quite frankly, I shouldn't have gotten Fam to roll for this, but whatever. There is on the dining table a flyer. Um, and I accidentally closed my notes. There it is. Um, there is a, on top of a pile of mail, which looks an awful lot like junk mail for the most part, but there is a slightly damp, sort of crumpled flyer for the Framore Town Animus Market. It boasts gifts, ice skating, music, face painting, lucky dip, talent show, etc. Lucky dip. Mm. dip. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I think Bob's gonna probably gonna go over to the table to place his uh to place the presents down first and then pick up the flyer. Uh, Gil's probably going to just pad after Bob and look over Bob's shoulder because Bob is one of the few people apparently that are sh is shorter than him. And <laughs> <laughs> you will also look uh, above the shoulder like, what? What is that? What is that? What is that? I mean, it's not hard to be taller than Bob. It's, it's a low bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the point yeah. I was making. <laughs> <laughs> Limbo bar. Um, yeah, so it's a it's a very festive looking little flyer. Um, and if anybody would uh, like to roll, probably a history, I suppose, yeah, to sure. see if anybody knows anything about Framore Town. Uh, that's a plus five. Nothing. Mm, I have a plus seven in history, but I'm uh, gonna roll 12. on disadvantage because Bob. Mm -hmm. I got a 12. Nope, 13. I'm sticking with the 13. <laughs> I, was, I rolled 24. Bob no, I'm sticking with the 13. No, Framer Town. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, well, there isn't much to know about Framer Town as far as you guys are concerned, but you do know that it is one of the very small towns that is a satellite town to Toontown. And you can get there in about 20 minutes by train or about 40 minutes by bus. And being a small town, it's not the kind of place that's swarming with police. It's not exactly known as a crime town or anything, but it's um, not... Oh, there was a word and I lost it. Not as a... F well, it doesn't have as much um, authority figures, like, law-wise? Yeah, like, it's, it's very casual. Like, it's got, like, a little neighborhood watch and, like, four policemen, but that's, like, hey, it. Because it's, it's small. It was. Yes? I was, uh, wondering, uh, what if one of them has a car? Um, <laughs> by car, it's probably, it's, it's gonna be, it'll probably be about half an hour to get there by car. Um, just because then you don't have to stop at all the bus stops and actually go to the, the bus interchange. You can just go straight from your door to some car park in, in cool. the... Cool. <laughs> I forgot Bob has a car. <laughs> Bob has a car now. And he shares the car between two other people who he still needs to give proper car uh, driving lessons to. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I had forgot. But um, no, uh, with, with, that, um, with that car, you do not have to take public transport, which probably is better anyway. Yeah. <laughs> So I think I think with that in mind, uh, it says, uh, and Gil and Sandy are already looking at the pamphlet. Uh, uh, I get. Do you guys want to? I mean, Sandy, if you still want to get gifts, we could probably go here. <gasps> oh yes, 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 yes! I can. I have money, and I can spend it. I can spend all my money. I have to have money. Marcel, does that? Uh, and Gil, does that sound all right with you? I'm I'm fine with it. Yes. He he has like a merch on the kitchen and whatever he was doing in there, he seems to have finished. Gil um stares at the flyer and gets a thing like a thinking face and he smiles and says, Yeah, uh, let's go. Perfect. I'll drive. Someone will just have to tell me which way to go. Wait, 
Drive? Yeah. Drive? What? Uh, I am, uh, Bob pulls out. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna actually roll in your space. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Bob pulls from his hammer space some car keys. Uh, I feel, oh, look uh, so shiny. Oh, stars, you have a car? Uh, yeah. Oh. I, uh, uh, beats some Fritz from work. One, uh, won a car. <laughs> you won a car from... Dodo Studios. Not from Dodo Studios. We went to the mall and there was a comp. You know what? It's a long story. It's not that long, but I'll tell you on the way. And he's and Marcel's like Marcel's like Bob. Bob, I don't mean to be rude, but uh, do you know how to drive a car? What? Yeah, I know it. Marcel, I drove, I, drove, I, drove, I, drove, I drove the golf carts. Remember? All right, right. <laughs> Having yes, driven both, the, 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 the ones I crashed. Okay, so car, a car is the magic moving thingy, right? Yeah, that you yeah. can go on. Okay, Gail, you are not allowed in. Gail, you are not allowed to drive shotgun. <laughs> 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 you lost your shotgun privileges. He, he, also, he snaps his <laughs> fingers. I shotgun. I want one. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Uh, by the way, I just want to say, uh, Brad this whole time has been, uh, has been wrapped around Marcel's leg. Aww. And has just been, right, has just been, uh, uh, has just been settled right there. Marcel's just, <laughs> Marcel's just, uh, why don't, why, why not have Red, Red shotgun? I can sit in the back with, he almost says kids, but then he changes it to Gil and Sandy. <laughs> Is he wrong though? I, I mean, I yeah. would. I mean, I would let Brad ride shotgun, but I don't have a booster seat for him. Oh, true. But uh, and he does. He doesn't want to say it out loud. But he's like radiating. Sandy has never been in a car before. Gil has done terrible things the last time he was in a <laughs> car. <laughs> oh God, this is so true. <laughs> like they need someone. Like they need someone to like supervise them in the back. Oh god, you're so right. Oh no, this is so... Oh, dilemma! Oh, oh, why don't... And he just like, he just like, Um, Rad, would you mind sitting with me in the back? Uh, Rad is... just holds on tighter to your leg. It's apparently a yes. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, well is there anything you guys would like to do to prepare for your trip to Framor Town before you go? Yes, I would like to share my magic candy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Okay, fantastic. Oh, no. oh my god! Pull it out of your hammer space first. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I think Bob's just gonna ask Marcel if he can uh -huh. keep the presents he brought uh, in Marcel's apartment till they get back. Oh yeah, of course. Okay, he's going to hand one to Sandy. Because there are only three of them. He's going to keep one for himself and hand one to Bob. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Can I eat it? You, are, you uh, are handed a small... It's um, it's it's not very big. Um, I, I'm picturing... I don't know if you guys get Jaffa's over there. It's like a red ball candy that's got chocolate in the middle. Tastes kind of like orange. Mm. Oh. Maybe. I take it that doesn't know, but anyway, but it's very it's it's not very big. It's smaller than like a jawbreaker or whatever. It's it's quite small, but it's perfectly round. There is one red one, one blue one, and one green one. He kept the red huh. one. <laughs> All right. He's gonna unwrap it and Sandy pop it in his the, mouth. Sandy has the blue one, I guess. Bob has the what? The green? Yep. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> all right, Bob has, all right. No Bob has no reason to suspect candy at this point, uh, so he will <laughs> also pop it in his mouth and eat it. Oh. Okay, I have eaten the candy. All right, one at a time so I don't get confused. I want all of you to roll me a d3, which is hilarious because I don't think you can actually make those physically, but Dark Master will do it. Oh boy. All right, I will, uh, I'll go first. I'll go one. next. 
Okay. Two. Two. Oh my god, please do the tree. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> I got one. I got Perfect. one part two. Amazing. <laughs> Couldn't three. have done that better had you tried. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that's Brilliant. amazing that's great okay, beautiful you you pop the candy in your mouth and it kind of tastes sort of well it's sweet it's a candy but it doesn't really have a huge flavor it's very subtle maybe like um if you've ever had elderflower cordial or something it's it's very subtle um however uh the next time that bob speaks his voice is very high pitched like he's just been breathing helium oh Oh my god. Gills is very, very low. And Sandy's very, very fast chipmunky. And this effect will <laughs> last until you get to Framework Town. <laughs> so whoa, last whoa. half an hour. Oh, oh god. god. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. What's happened to my voice? Do you do you oh, remember those yes, magic yes. candies? Oh my god! Did you do a little festival? You bought them for that long? Yes. What? I was saving them. Because I don't eat my candy right away. I I gotta savor it. Bob's, Bob's halfway to concern, but also kind of amused. Um, but most important, how this supposed to work? I I don't know. Yeah. They didn't okay. give us give me any instructions with it. They just gave me the candy <laughs> and said it was magic. Results just at kill a sandy side chip monkey. Results just you do remember that it's a forty minute drive. <laughs> 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 You don't want to just get to the car. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I um, can't keep doing that voice. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is <laughs> fun. This is amazing. Before we all go to the car, Car, I have a question. Did Kill eat that all the day? Wait, what? Like, you said that Gil has been, like, holding up in his room the entire day. Like, mm -hmm. did he eat at all? No. Aside from candy? He, he just ate candy. All right then. All right, Marcel takes out like nothing, nothing too like nothing too um, extravagant. It's just like a PB and J sandwich and and drops it into Kill's hands. Uh. Eat. Mm. Eat properly. You can eat while we while we drive to the to the bar. Good place! You have to eat because this is really, really important because you have to eat because you get a hungry and you do not. Slow down! I can't understand you! I can't remember, I don't know what it is, I can't remember, I can't really do that because I just keep going and going. Bob just puts a hand over her mouth. Bob just puts a hand over her mouth. Is it like a little and stitch sketch where like she immediately cuts off, but the second like Bob takes his mouth off, it's immediately like continuing where she left off? Oh yeah. my god, I love that! Yeah. I love that! <laughs> yes. Oh my god, I love you guys so much. I hope you know. Phil, <laughs> <laughs> Marcel will watch you eat that sandwich. He will like make sure you finish it. Yeah, yeah, he's he's taking his time with it, and by the time they get to Framer Town is when he'll finish. <laughs> yeah. Bob, oh, Bob, as they're driving, has been doing that thing where where he's just been saying just random things just to see how it sounds with his voice so high pitched. Oh my god. Sandy's gonna provide commentary the whole entire road unless someone puts a, a, a hand in her mouth. <laughs> I think uh, Rad, Rad, uh, 
like what like puts his hand on Sandy's mouth, takes it off, puts it back on, <laughs> takes it off like this. <laughs> I Amazing. think we're solid of just like I think we're solid of just made sure that Sandy and Red had been wearing seat belts and Claire had killed until he did too. <laughs> Gil rolls his eyes, puts the seatbelt on, and goes back to slowly, agonizingly eating the sandwich. I am very impressed, Soto. Well done. Uh, we are going to go to a a a, a white fade. <laughs> um, Kiko is rocking up at Framore Town. And um, it, it's a very charming little small town and you pull into a, a parking lot um, and there's snow on all of the buildings. It's been done up with holiday pizzazz. Um, so, you know, there's, there's Christmassy, animasy lights and, you know, all the cute little decorations everywhere. It's got a very familiar vibe. It's like kind of like how the Chihiro Festival was buzzing with excitement, except there is significantly fewer people here. Like, there is so much more room to move. It's got a bit more of a quaint country town vibe, as opposed to one of the richest cities in Ghibli kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can see from here where the market has been set up. There are stalls full of gifts and decorations and um, all sorts of, like, crafty components to make your own gifts and cards and masks and there's food and you can see the ice skating rink there's all sorts of stuff i am going to uh try oh well okay oh, oh. oh. oh wow what I get. um yeah i was going to try to get a mask from my uh Hammer space, but instead i pull out a bag of plastic but realistic looking spiders i look at it for a second <laughs> And slowly all right, uh, put it back. All right, uh, Fable, could you have could you have Bob do the strength check for a second? Oh what? Uh, okay. Oh. <laughs> strength check. This should. Oh, that's just a straight D twenty. Okay. All <laughs> yeah. right. You know what? The second the fake plastic spiders came up, Marcel just immediately like hi. He didn't scream, but he did like yell, and then immediately jumped into oh his arms. Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, so wait, Marcel, I can't hold you! Ah! <laughs> oh my god, you're so funny, you're so funny, you're so funny, you're so Gil starts laughing again as he uh, searches around in his pocket and instead pulls out a bright pink bikini. <laughs> Oh, it's very familiar too. Uh, so that's where oh I pulled that. You really mean you're buying your the thing is you buy the thing? I didn't buy it. <laughs> he puts it back. Sandy gives an understanding nod. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, he pulls out the bag of realistic looking spiders again. Please, please imagine, okay. please imagine that Marcel had just pushed himself off Bob into stand position, and when he saw that, he fell backwards on the Bob. Oh my God! Okay, so I'm going So he pulls out the the mask he was wearing to make himself look like a fox, and he puts it on. Just the cool. mask. Um, Gil, Bob, and Sandy are suddenly overcome with the urge to cough, and the voice-changing effect has now expired. <laughs> oh. oh, my voice is back to normal. Oh, oh good. Can you guys understand me now? Yes. Oh, oh, much more clearly. Oh, thank <laughs> you, wishing star. <laughs> <laughs> also, oh, Marcel, um... I, could you get up, please? My legs are falling asleep. Oh, oh sorry, Bob. And he stands up and pulls Bob up. Oh, thank you. Gil l looks over and up at Vamp and goes, So, you don't like spiders, huh? Dun, he, dun, dun. He, uh, hold on a second, let me just roll. Oh, no. I'm rolling deception. 
Also, oh, Rad is Rad is uh Rad himself. No, he's not rolling deception actually. He's rolling intimidation. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. He very quietly tells Gil very quietly that if he ever makes use of this knowledge of cancel or tells God forbid tells anyone he 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 can't he can't even. Well, he can't say what he'll do with uh, with Sandy and Radaro. Uh, <laughs> Rad, not be held responsible for his actions. <laughs> which, Rad has Rad has made himself comfortable by sitting on Sandy's shoulders. <laughs> Gil lift up, lifts up him. his hands and just says, oh, 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 okay, Marcel, just just calm, just 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 just. Just calm down. Now, 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 you two, we came here to have a good time. <laughs> I am having a very good time now. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, so you now uh, smack bang in the middle of the Framor Town Animus Market. What would you guys like to do? Um, Bob's, I... go Bob's gonna look at Sandy. Sandy? Look at her all and like, I'll be right back, and dash us off. <laughs> oh! Okay, just be careful with Brad, please. Oh. Yeah! Um, well, okay. I'm gonna stroll around and look at the stalls. Uh, I guess Bob's gonna stay with Marcel. I should say, uh, uh, for Bob doesn't have any money, so he has nothing to spend on. Marcel, Marcel has, like, has done his anima shopping already, and he does have a little money, but he's saving it for something. Mm. <laughs> okay, cool. So we've got Sandy off on her own, and everyone else is sort of just perusing casually. Well, mm -hmm. Sandy has Rad with her. Mm -hmm. That's true. She'll okay. come back soon, soon enough, though. Oh, <laughs> All right, well, I'm actually going to cut over to Sandy in that case. Um, are you looking at the stalls? Is that what you're doing? Yep. Yeah? Okay. Um, as you uh, look around at all the different stalls, you can see one that is covered in all sorts of different wooden dolls. And as you get close to this stall, you feel something hit your foot in the snow. And here, a very small, ow! Oh, 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 are you okay? Are you, ha, uh, uh, uh. And Sandy <laughs> goes and try and pick up whatever is in the snow. You look down and find in your hands, if I can get this stupid program to work. Oh, boy. Hello? Okay. I'm realizing, I, I, I'm starting to realize that maybe I should have had Bob go after Sandy and uh, Rad. <laughs> yeah, I hope you have left the children unsupervised. Yeah. We'll just have to see how that ends up. Oh boy. <laughs> Bob's still learning how to parent, okay? I mean, Marcel would have, but like, for understandable reasons, he's exhausted right now. Mm hmm. He's sat between Sandy. Oh, uh, Wiz. Oh, no. Wiz. Oh, no. I can't hear you, Wiz. Wiz! I'm sorry, everyone. The game is cancelled. Our DM died. No! Oh, no! 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 Uh, Woman of Thailand. <laughs> Where's that gift? We'll be right back. Where's that gift? It's time for a commercial there it break. Is. <laughs> Oh, commercial break. Oh my do. god. Commercial break. Do, do, do. Commercial break. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Everyone, do you ever want to, like, tell everyone how displeased and unhappy you are, but you don't want to be, like, you know, attention seeking? Well, we've got just the thing for you. We've got, like, this new portable storm cloud. That way you don't have to go up to everyone and God forbid go through the mortifying ordeal of being known and telling everyone how you feel. Instead, you just deploy the cloud and everyone can see how you feel and comfort you without you having to say anything. Buy the particle storm cloud. Buy one and get two free. Oh my god. You know, for some reason, that just made me think of of the John Mulaney bit where he's talking about <laughs> he's talking about his his wife. And going like, you know, girl, girls are always you know, every girl I've I've dated is already 
always feel like something's wrong, and they'll mope about it. And I ask, what's wrong? And they'll be like, you wouldn't understand. Like, what the heck am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile, my, wa- meanwhile, my girlfriend, my wife, you know, she won't do that. You know, she'll walk, she'll walk in and loudly pretend, my stomach hurts! <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, <laughs> yes, that was exactly the vibe I was going for. I have not watched that yet, yeah, but yes, that was exactly the vibe I was trying. Why have you not watched John Mulaney? I have. You have to watch John Mulaney. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, I mean, good. I only watched them like two months ago when I made the Salt and Papa animatic. That was the first time. Oh, oh my so god. It was amazing. I loved it. Thank you. It was god, I, I kind of rushed my voice like, doing that commercial. Be right back on a grab a drink. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Gosh, I'm speaking so fast. Them. Actually, I should it's- go to the restroom. <laughs> I'm also oh, gonna, yeah. gonna do that and be right back. So Bye. just let me. And so we are alone. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm thinking of another commercial break to do, but I can't think of any. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. I I'm not good at improvisation. <laughs> uh. What's in there? Oh. Like... Oh, I have an idea. Oh? Hey, 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 all the lonely hearts out there, all the people who desire family but have never found them in their own flesh and blood. Hey, we've got a pro- we have got a solution for your problem right here. Look, it's the found family, Gable. Just one hit and tap on this hammer, and you'll find yourself with all the family you need. Found family, Gable. It might have been out loud in 17 states, but it is still found family. Oh my gosh! I want one! <laughs> Sorry, no. Oh, disclaimer. Must, must can only be used by students of a mental or physical age above 30. Ah. Uh-huh. <laughs> How dare! How dare you! <laughs> Listen, there's discrimination! It's discrimination! I thought it was <laughs> Oh, so it's not back yet. Nope. Okay. They're doing a hard reset. Aye, aye. Ugh. Are you okay? You can't breathless. Yeah, I ran. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> Because I, I, I didn't want to, like... Oh, oh, did you guys do the commercial about the Saiyan repellent? What? Oh, no, I, I was looking back through the chat, and Trad shouted, Saiyan repellent! <laughs> oh, okay. oh, right, I, rem- Although I remember them now. Yeah, the Saiyan to close. <laughs> Saiyan to close. Are you tired of constantly having to put duct tape over your door to make sure that those pesky saints can come in? Are you tired of constantly having to cover all the fence and the holes? And like those little itty corners that nothing but rats should be able to go through and yet the saints still get in? Well, I've got just a solution for your problem, friend. We've got saint repellents and they're only at one dollar each. Buy one, get three free. Please, please buy one. The, the person who made these got attacked by students last week, and he would really, really appreciate the help. <laughs> oh, 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 I've got, I've got, I've got one, I've got one. Uh, uh. Hello, are you tired of all those annoying voices annoying you in the day, annoying you at the night, annoying you in the morning? Well, have I got just the thing for you? Just sl- just slap on their mouths, a beep, beep, beep! That's right, just a beep, beep, beep! And, you, and all your noise complaints will go away. Call us now at beep beep beep. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I wish. Quiz. Hi. Quiz. Can can Quiz. you speak? Can Quiz. you hear us? Quiz. Is it a ghost? The ghost of Wes past. Oh no. Ghost. Oh no. Ghost. He oh, can no. hear, but but there is no. Have you checked your settings, your voice input, and all that, jazz? And all that jazz. 
Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The mic yeah. here. Okay. The wonderful whiz of ever there Yay. whiz there was. Did your oh, Ooh, uh, I still have the the recording. It's still going oh, oh, on my end. Fantastic. Oh dear. Well, that was exciting. <laughs> um now I've completely lost my train of thought. Choo choo. Um yeah. So, where did I go? Where did I cut um, out? Uh, Sandy uh, found a wooden doll. Oh yes, that's right. Okay, cool. Sandy found a wooden doll in the snow, and it looks like this. Aww. Oh, it is cute. Oh, okay, thank God. When you heard, when I heard wooden doll, I won't lie. My immediate thought was the pecker, Mister M. Yeah, that was my thought too. <laughs> no, no, I like, Hold on. no. I don't think he is small enough to randomly bump into in the snow and pick up. Uh, this doll. Well, that's that's true, but no, doesn't look anything like that. Um, now she's only. I'm not very good at thinking in inches. Maybe. Five or six ish. <gasps> she's tiny. Yeah, she's small. And um, you pick her up, and she look turns her head and looks up at you, and it's like, oh, oh, hi. Oh, hello, hi. I'm Sandy. This is Ron. Good day. Um, Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, hey. Can you help? Can you help me? Uh, sure. Okay. Cool. Oh, great. That didn't take long. And I'm going to get you, Sandy, to please roll me a wisdom saving throw. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, fucking no. Oh, no. Did Rad also make a wisdom saving throw? Rad does not need to. Okay. Uh, it's That's because not... Sandy is touching the doll. I don't know. <laughs> well... You're holding this doll, and you suddenly get a really odd feeling. It's not quite like being overwhelmingly dizzy, or even just slightly dizzy. It's just sort of thinking about being dizzy. And then your vision kind of goes pinkish. And what? then you kind of don't feel like you're standing in the snow anymore. Uh, and it sort of your vision clears a bit, and you're not holding the doll anymore. And uh, as a matter of fact, you don't seem to be holding anything anymore. And your hands uh, don't look like yours. Uh, and then you can hear what sounds an awful lot like your voice saying, "Oh, it worked!" And you look up, and you appear to be in the hands of a giant. Uh, oh I... my fucking god, Wiz. <laughs> Rad, all, Rad. all Rad sees is the doll change from green to pink. Do do Rad? Rad? I... I... Huh? What's going on? Uh, Rad doesn't know what to do. He's just sitting on Sandy on Sandy's shoulders, and then the doll changed. And what's going on? This feels weird. Do you look up at this giant, and you recognize your new coat dress. You recognize your hairpin. The hair is definitely your color. The face is white with a sharp toothed grin. Hi. Little blush circles on the cheeks and heart shaped pupils looking down at you. Who are and you? she just grins and says, Thank you. And puts you down on the table and <laughs> takes off at a sprint. Rad is, Rad is going and to. Soto, I am sending you your new character sheet. <laughs> okay. Can oh I say that Rad God. is gonna reach for the doll for the new the pink Sandy doll? Mm-hmm. 
Oh, okay, because no. he's because he's gonna grab Sandy Doll and hold him close, like he's still sitting on on who he still who uh, he's still sitting on Sandy's shoulders, but he still sees the doll that's changed and. Oh uh, yeah, can you roll me a deck saving throw for Red, actually, please? Sure. <laughs> hey Wiz. Hey Wiz. <laughs> what Wiz? The heck? Wiz, can I ask you something? When you uh, came up with the imposter AU two days ago, were you laughing to yourself? Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe this. Oh as, my gosh. as Sandy, in in quotes, uh, runs off, leaving the doll on the table. Um, she sort of flails her arms a bit, and Rad falls off the shoulders and lands in the snow, doing a perfect. No radio in in the snow. Don't. Oh no. Rad, who was that? Who? Who is that? Dude, dude. Uh, Rad yes? just just sits up, a little dizzy, not sure, but he holds <laughs> little dolls, Sandy, close to him, and just looks at her like, dude. And actually, no, I'm gonna roll. I'm just gonna roll. Uh, should I roll intelligence inside? What should I roll? Um, he's yeah, trying to make. He's trying to make sense, or even because he's not sure what's just happened, or why Sandy has just left him in the snow like that. Uh, give me, you can give it uh, insight, and I'm going to give Red advantage. Okay. He is four years old. His, his just... <laughs> Use the inspiration <laughs> point, please, baby. Use the inspiration point. I, you know what? Uh... It's kind of it it sounds weird the thought of it but the doll is talking to him in sandy's voice and she doesn't seem happy and sandy running off like that doesn't seem like it's like her i think rad's gonna he's gonna uh hold, hold the doll close and and go uh He's gonna run after a uh, quote unquote Sandy. Okay. <laughs> um, not back to the others. Okay. Cool. Um, speaking of the others, I'll get everybody else to roll a perception, please. Oh, God, he's so Ooh, I love nice. rolling perception. I got a zero. <laughs> amazing. I see nothing. <laughs> Ow, my, you know, ooh, my eye. you know, I thought to myself, man, I'm probably not gonna have to use rad sheet that much. You didn't put a D in there, Fable. Did I not? I did not. Please, please. Ah, That's 21. 21. Still good. Um, <sighs> okay, as the rest of you are perusing the stalls, it's, it's started to snow, so it, the visibility isn't too great. But... It occurs to Bob that he hasn't sort of seen Sandy or Rad for a, a hot minute, and that's never necessarily a good sign. And looking around, you see Rad on his own disappearing down an alleyway. And in the distance, you can hear a loud crash and the very faint sounds of what you suspect is a security alarm going whap. Wap, wap, wap. Uh, Bob's gonna tug on Marcel's sleeve, sleeve before quickly running to the alleyway to 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 uh, run, run. Where are you going? Did, oh my God! Did, did I at least hear? Yeah, I'll, I'll let you hear the uh, the the siren in the distance because you're kind of looking out for it. Because, you know, you're kind of on the run. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why I've got a mask on. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's probably why I'm having trouble seeing. <laughs> it's just over your eyes, you can't see anything. <laughs> Marcel just, like, Marcel tucks on kill, like, tucks on kill, and then, like, well, he, he takes off running after Bob. I, I guess I will thunder after them, too. Chink, 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 chink. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, okay, so you guys sprint down the alleyway after Rad, and you realize you've not seen Sandy anywhere. 
and you come down through the alleyway, which is a fairly nondescript alleyway. It's, you've seen dozens like it. And on the other side, there is another street. Um, also very picturesque, covered in snow. There's a few buildings here and there. And um, you see a building, which is where you figure the, um, the siren is coming from. And it looks... Picture the museum from Animal Crossing. It looks like oh, that. Oh, okay, makes sense. Oh. Yeah. And okay. um, you can see Rad running up to the door. Rad, wait! And Bob will still get, uh, give chase. Rad, where's Sandy? <laughs> wait. <laughs> and um, they're within earshot if Sandy is yelling and carrying on. Oh, this is actually rad that's running? Okay, I was just yeah, like, yeah, no, okay. it's, it's definitely rad. Okay. It's rad. Okay. It has a little little pink doll in his hand. Oh, okay. In that case, uh, rad's probably going to stop, turn around, see Bob, and then tackle hug Bob and do <laughs> like crazy. Rad, what's wrong? Where's Sandy? <laughs> He's waving his hands. He's big looking around. He's got a little doll in his, and he shows the little doll in his what? hands. What? She's crying too. What? Sandy, and he he has he has to literally like crouch down because he's so much taller than rather than Sandy is small. But then he feels like, wait, what? I, I, I don't know what happened. I I. Sandy. 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 Calm, calm down, calm down, take deep. Uh, Bob, Bob is going to going to pick up Sandy carefully from Rad's hands and just hold her gently. Calm down, take take deep breaths, okay? I, I don't know what happened. I, I... Breathe. Uh, I, breathe. I, breathe, it's okay, it's Rad. Okay. Just walk, gonna... just walk <laughs> back through what happened for us, okay? Okay, okay. I, 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 we were going to the stores, and there was, this, there was the, the dolls, and, and there was the doll on the, on the snow, and I picked her up, and she, she, she asked for help, and we said yes, and, and now I suddenly saw, like, a pink-haired girl with hard eyes, and I don't know who that was, but I, I, and then I'm stuck. Here and I, I. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And Bob, Bob's gonna hold her close. Uh, basically hold her close to his chest and just like, just gently pet her hair, which I imagine is just like wooden hair. Just painted wood. Yeah, but he's still gonna just try and comfort her. I. If she's feels... she pulling her to his chest, does that mean like she also hears the lup dup 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 of his heartbeat? Oh. No. Yes. Oh. Gil. Gil's. Oh. oh okay. Gil's angry. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, <laughs> Rad is also pointing towards the museum. It's in there. Do they have to like? Do they have to roll intelligence to make sense of what Sandy said, or like? Um, you're welcome to. Can I roll history to see if I've heard of something like this before? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm gonna roll Arcana. Aha! I got a twenty. Yeah, Dirty twenty. Well. I'm rolling Arcana for uh, just so Bob, if he's heard of doll people being changed into dolls. <laughs> Okay, well, with a 20, a 23, and a, a 15, you've not heard of anything that turns people into dolls, but the only thing that kind of comes to mind is you've heard of a necromancy spell called Magic Jar, which puts somebody's spirit into an item. That's the only thing that comes to mind, although it doesn't seem quite right. San, uh, Sandy, I'm, I'm sorry to ask this, but you said a girl with pink hair and the hard eyes? Yeah. And he looks to Bob and Gil, and he... Did they switch bodies? 
It, that's that does Card. sound like what it could be. Okay, let's see. What am I rolling hammer space for? <laughs> what is he trying to get? I'm gonna. Oh, I'm also gonna roll strength real quick for Rad. Yeah. Okay, I think that's. Uh, I know what he's getting. So, Gil reaches into his pocket, pulls out his Frostbrand rapier, twirls it in his hand, and starts heading towards the door. That's a three. Rad is just pulling on Bob's on Bob's cardigan to to pull him in to try and pull him towards the museum. Gil, 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 wait, hold on, and he he no, we goes need up. to find. <sighs> I'm not, saying, pecker. I'm not saying that we goomed, and I'm not saying that we shouldn't. I'm saying that the alarms just sounded, and you marching in there, like, wielding, brandishing a frostbrand rapier is not going to help things. Let, let, let me go in first. Think about, think about it, Gil. You are, wa you are wanted right now, but... And so you just had, had to deal with... Your face is known. Mine's not. So I there's a chance I could go in and if there is something happening. Uh I'm Yeah. No. Let, if there is no. something wrong. I'm not letting you go in there by yourself. He's going to I'm not going by myself and he and Bob pulls Rad next to him. I think at the words like your face is known, Marcel just uses this guy self. Um I'm Pulling out my disguise kit, <laughs> <laughs> and in, in the street, completely uh, switching it up. Um, dexterity plus proficiency. That's uh, plus two, plus three, that's plus five. Eh. It's above average. Yeah. Oh. So uh, I, uh... I, I adjust my uh, detective's hat in the cloak I put on over my jacket, take off the mask, and I just use the the makeup that I stole from Dodo Studios to make myself look blue. Oh my goodness. <laughs> nice. <laughs> See? Cool. Yeah, Who I think I? so. It's gonna turn into, like, a generic tune. Like, generic tune... But look at first, but then looking at like what Gil's wearing, like the detective outfit, he changes the disguise a bit, so he looks like policeman. Bob is just gonna go in, look like Bob. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. He's going to hold Sandy in one hand and hold Rad's hand in the other, and just walk into the museum. Fantastic. I'm following okay. after him. You all head inside, and the Framore Town Museum looks about as big as the Animal Crossing Museum looks like it should be. It's one room, well, it possibly might be two rooms, um, with a number of different displays around the ed edges of the room. So, like, there's a couple of paintings over there, a sculpture in a glass case over there, um, some sort of, you think it might be art? in the corner and one of those displays has been smashed up and whatever was there is no longer there and you can also even without a perception check you can see the back door open and snow is coming in and there are two tunes in there who are look like they could work at the museum and they look understandably distressed and they look up as you come in and go uh, uh I'm, I'm sorry we're going to have to close the museum we've had a incident girl oh. with pink hair heart eyes where did she go they, they sort of take it back it's like oh oh yes that 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 was her um she she, she took the artifact and went out through the back door what did she take Oh, and he gestures to the the display. And you can see it's only a small pedestal. It was behind glass. And the little um, information sign has a photograph and a description. 
Hostility phase is made from a variety of glass and crystal. Research indicates it was made of. Delicate vase is made from a variety of glass or crystal. Research indicates it was made by way of an artificer or similar. However, its purpose remains a mystery. It was found in a ruin on a tiny island in the Independent Isles in 2001, which had spent the better part of the century underwater. Can Snell roll history to try and remember anything about this? Sure. Uh, I'd like to try that as well. <laughs> Go for it. Because I do have proficiency in history, but it didn't help. <laughs> Hold on, history, history. Oh my god. Laptop, please. Hold on. Ah, yeah, that was right. 16. Okay, you sort of look at this thing and you think you might have heard something in like uh, like in the news or maybe read in a little article in a newspaper or something about this big archaeological find. Um, but you don't really know um, much about it. It wasn't really in, it's not in your wheelhouse, um, archaeological artifacts and stuff, unless they are, at least in Marcel's case, known to be magic. But this thing doesn't, doesn't ring a bell, really. Uh, thanks. I'm going to immediately go out the back door to try to find... Yeah. Yeah, I was going to follow. <laughs> okay, cool. The um, the the tunes who who are in the museum is like, oh, oh, okay, good good luck. If you can retrieve the artifact, that would be great. Um, and yeah, don't worry, we've dealt with thieves before. Uh -huh. A thief. <laughs> and you head out the back door. Um, you cannot see Sandy. So, uh, roll me a investigation. Hey, I've got a plus two to do that. Didn't hey, help. Uh, <laughs> nope. Oh, no. All right, here we go. Plus up. Yeah. I mean, I mean. Kind of the rescue. Okay, so you can't... Oh, yeah, Santa gets to look. I gave her a sheep. Um, <laughs> okay, so you, you look around and you can't see her and the snow is starting to fall. So it makes it hard to sort of figure things out but before it snows too hard bob you can see very hurried footprints in the, the snow that's already fallen running down the street um so you can you can actually still follow them quite quite handily oh there are footprints this way lead on yeah i guess bob will take the lead <laughs> all right cool they uh they head down the street and you it it takes ages you go down the street down one alley down another street down another alley and they kind of get a little bit sloppy here and there and there is a a moment where as far as you can tell she fell over um <laughs> but eventually you come to the uh, another alley where it leads down and at the end you can see what looks like a construction site oh dear oh no <sighs> um, here sandy are you okay with just with sitting on my shoulder i think oh, i'm gonna okay. need a free hand yeah yeah okay and rad you stay with me doot, doot. All right, then here we go. Yeah. I have my sword out. I'm going to go first. Okay. Creepy. Um, you head into the construction site. The gate isn't locked. Like it's surrounded by one of those really tall um, chain fences, and the gate's not locked. And you're pretty sure you know why. It's because the padlock's in the snow over there. Mm -hmm. Um. But you head in, and you can see standing on um, a little bit of, uh, like a pile of big construction planks, there is a pair of tunes standing there. That is not what I wanted in my, what do you call it? Clipboard. There are a pair of tunes standing there, and you can see very clearly Sandy handing them what looks like the artifact. Oh, no. Okay. Oh. They look like that. 
They're I'm not very tall. That. I am not well, a singer. Well, gentlemen. They look up rather alarmed. And at this point, I'm going to get everybody to roll me a perception, please. Okay, okay. I was about to say a thing, um, but you know what? I'll save sorry. it to see how this perception goes. <laughs> sorry. Rolled, uh, the ten. Oh, no. I'll roll, you know, I'm gonna roll a perception for Rad because his perception is is actually not terrible. But you know what? Wait, if, am I the one who's got? Oh no! I have hey, an eight. Rad. I got. A Rad's got a twenty. Rad's got a twenty. Okay, cool. I will. Uh, I will go into that in in a minute. Um, but yeah. So these two tunes, they look up and they look at you, and. Then they look down, and Sandy has turned and looked over her shoulder and doesn't look particularly excited to see you. Mm, yeah. Um, and the one with the red hair uh, sort of looks up at you and then looks back at Sandy and goes, Sheesh, an audience? Come on, kiddo, you weren't supposed to bring friends to play. And you can hear in Sandy's voice and the way that Sandy talks going, it was an accident. And as you do that, Gil and Rad, you hear a second voice saying the same thing at the same time, somewhere over to the left. Hmm. Uh. Uh. Somewhere over to the left. Rad is mm -hmm. staying with Rad is still holding Bob's hand, so is is I staying with Bob. But am Rad's going to watch the three over there and slowly start to walk around them to the left. As I say, mm. well, you know, you really, really need some lessons on this, because honestly, this is child's play, and you've seriously screwed this up. The moment you say child's play, you look ahead of yourself ever so slightly, and you see this. There's a little girl standing in a pink and yellow magic circle, floating probably eh, a foot off the ground, and she is looking over her shoulder as if she were looking at somebody behind her. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. um, the, the two turns that are back over, uh, standing up onto the construction equipment, sort of just sort of sigh, and the one with the dark hair sort of just goes, well, you brought them here, you deal with them. And the little girl and Sandy both go, what? Go on, you've got a nice, strong, grown-up body now, don't you? Use it. Um, oh, Sandy oh, turns boy. around, and so does the little girl. Sandy is holding her lollipop, and the little girl has a little hammer. And she looks like she is going to attack. All right. You know, little okay. girl, you really shouldn't do that. And here's why. Charm person. <laughs> Make a oh, wisdom oh. saving throw. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> her wisdom saving throw. Oh, I'll, it's I'll, not, I'll not very hard. <laughs> yeah, self also preparing a spell. <laughs> ah! ah! That's the one! Uh oh, oh, oh yeah. what? So that the little girl oh has my God. failed yes. the charm person. Cool. Now you really don't want to attack us, do you? <laughs> she shakes her head. No, no, I don't. I don't want to. And it's very, very odd hearing that little girl's voice and Sandy's voice saying this at the same time. Can I ask uh, something? Mm -hmm. The two tunes that were like the other two tunes, like, are they within 30 feet of Marcel and Bob and the others? Yep. The second, like, Gil cast Charm Person on the little girl, Marcel cast Charm Person as well, and his <laughs> can pop up two creatures at once. <laughs> oh, yeah! And Bob's yeah. gonna do, uh, Bob's gonna do his own thing, actually. 
Okay. I don't know, and I don't know if this will work, but I'm gonna try it. Uh, Bob's basically gonna run over to to quote unquote Sandy with doll Sandy. Um, I don't know if this will work. I really don't know if this will work. I really hope it does, though. Uh, but what he wants to do basically is shove uh, doll Sandy into quote unquote Sandy's face and cast a spell magic. Ooh, okay. <laughs> right, let's 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 do this with saving throw first. That uh, doesn't reach. Uh, oh no. D twenty. That doesn't reach. Uh, <laughs> okay. Cool. Oh, oh, my NPCs are suddenly charmed. Fantastic. Okay, great. Um, all right. How does dispel magic work? Uh, choose one creature, object, or magical effect within range. Any spell or third level, uh, any spell of third level or lower on the target ends. Uh, for each spell, fourth. Uh, I'm casting this at third level, so. Uh, mm -hmm. da -da -da -da. Um, make an ability check using your spellcasting ability. DC equals ten plus the spell's level. On a successful check, the spell ends. Okay. Groovy. So if it's third or below, it just ends, but uh, above Bob would have to roll. Cool. Yeah. Is it cool? Bob is will have to roll. I'll yeah. have to roll. God, it's not a third level spell. Oh well, no. Heck. Okay, let's do you this. You have an inspiration point. <laughs> I do. I, I do, but let I'm gonna roll for it first. And All we'll right. see what happens. Uh let's see, DC equals ten plus the spell's level. Uh, so it's spell casting modifier plus the D twenty. I think. Yeah, and the DC is the spell so level. So D20 plus my modifier yep. plus the spell's level, which is third level. So that'd be D20 plus 7 plus 3, I think? Why plus what? Because my modifier is plus 7. Mm -hmm. And then the plus 3 because it's I'm casting it at third level. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Nice. So D20 plus 10 yep. then. Okay. Ooh, okay. Nine. Ooh. All right. <laughs> okay, so oh, you wait. thrust the little wait. doll at. Wait, hold that thought. I got an emergency call. I got it. Uh, uh, Do we need I'll to take a break? To we could take a break. Yeah. Yeah, let's take a break real quick. Okay. okay. We will take a break. That actually works really well for me. So I, uh, okay, I will sorry. be right back. Sorry, sorry, Liz, can I ask you a question while we're on break? Yep. Did you expect all three of them to be charm person? Not at all. <laughs> you would think I would learn. Anyway, I thought we'll be right back. I, I always have charm person. You, you should know that. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. Yeah, and one hour later. <laughs> Let's go. I'm so annoyed right now. I'm so annoyed. I'm eating after I I'm pretty I'm sure so I'm sorry. I'm annoyed because I'm also I haven't eaten dinner yet. So I'm gonna oh. eat dinner after this, but god am I annoyed right now. Anyways, it's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna it's be well. not yeah. I'm gonna be not annoyed because Bob rolled a twenty nine on his dispel magic, so okay. Yeah. Okay. Gosh, where, okay. where's my notes? Okay, cool. How's recording? Um, How's recording? I'm recording. <laughs> <laughs> Groovy. Okay. Well, that was a nice little interlude. Um, alrighty. So you rolled super, super well on the D spell of magic. And there is sort of a a a shudder that goes up Sandy's back. Uh well, Sandy's Ooh. body's back. And Sandy, suddenly you see that pink color again completely cover your vision. Gil, you're standing there near the little girl, and you can see the magical circle that she's standing in shudder, and then shudder some more really violently, and then go boop, and blink out of existence. Mm. And the little girl falls to her bottom on the, in the snow with a oof. And when Sandy's vision clears, she's back in her body, and Bob is holding the doll. It doesn't look pink, like it was when Sandy was in it, and it doesn't look green. It's unpainted. Up, oh, just throw the doll, please. <laughs> All right. Uh, actually, I think Bob's gonna hold on to the doll. Uh, so, uh, young one, how about you just come come over here and join us, and we can all talk, okay? Sandy, are you okay? Hi. 
Oh! I'm tall again, I... Yeah, yeah. I think we're Bob supposed going to be like hot candy. The, the little girl looks up at Gil and she gets up and she goes over to him like she has known him her entire life and holds out a hand for him to take expectantly. He, he's going to very carefully take the hand and gently lead her uh. over. She's she's sort of half skipping no. behind. You can kind of see that it's not a hundred percent there. Like she's not cheerful, cheerful, but she's kind of content, cheerful. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. She, she okay. rolled in at one. She's charmed out of her brains, but. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I of course know but... that it worked because. Mm, uh, mm, mm. Russell's oh. looking at like the two charm tunes, like still like still wherever they were standing, and just go, "Hey, can you guys can you guys just sit there for a second? I'll be right there." And they sort of just sort of smile at you, and one of them gives what you assume is a thumbs up. Like she doesn't actually really have thumbs, uh, um, but she sort of gives a gesture that might be a thumb. Do they still have the the vase with them? Yep, the one with the red hair is holding it in both hands. Cool. B oh. cool. Bob's gonna leave uh, Rad with Sandy, because Rad is also hugging Sandy, and Bob is gonna go over to the charmed guys and go, Hey, I'm sorry, but could I see that real quick? He's gonna point at the vase. Oh yeah, show it to Bob, please. Uh, they're holding it, but they're not letting it go. They're not handing it over, but they're sort of showing it off, you know, from each angle. Um, I'm not very good at drawing things in 3D, so you'll just have to picture that mm -hmm. it is, is round. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, Bob's gonna... Can I do an Arcana check on it? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> 13. Come on, Bob. Um, uh, it's not... Can tell them to give it to you? Hmm? Oh, sorry. Uh, Wes, you first. You first. Oh, okay. Um, so you're looking, you're looking at this, at this thing, and like they are turning it in their hands. So you can see it from all angles. Um, it certainly does look like it would make a very nice vase. Um, it's got a, the neck of it's really quite narrow, so it'd only fit, you know, a couple of really thin flower stems in it. Um, and it doesn't look or feel inherently magical, but with your experience in this sort of thing, because you are an artificer as well. You think that it might be missing a piece. And mm. I am going to roll a d20. I think Bob, as Bob is, oh. as, is looking over at this face, he's gonna take, he's gonna put the doll that he has now acquired into his hammer space. Save that for later. Mm -hmm. And where it can't do damp possible damage. Hopefully. Uh, Marcel's just, Bob, do you need me to tell them to give it to you? Uh, yeah, that might be best. I don't think it'd be good for them to keep holding it. Hey, you both, give the face to Bob, please. They sort of look at each other and they look down at, at Bob and then look back up at you and he's like, uh, yeah, sure, like, we do kind of need it. You'll, you'll give it back, right? Of course. Bob says nothing, he just smiles. <laughs> They look really uncertain, but she slowly hands it over, and it's like, yeah, here, here. Thank you. you. I, I'll promise I'll be careful with it. Put it in your hammer, please, Bob. <laughs> oh, you know what? <laughs> Frankly, <laughs> if that's Marcel telling Bob to do it, Bob's gonna do it. Into the hammer space it goes. <laughs> okay. Cool. Uh, <laughs> the girl, the, he's like, okay. You, um, now that I've it back, brought right? the little girl over with me, I'm going to look down at her, smile, and say, uh, do you have something you want to say to my friend? She sort of looks up at Gil and then looks over at Sandy and she looks very sheepish. Um, 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 um I'm, I'm so sorry, miss. I didn't. I didn't hurt. It didn't hurt, did it? They said it wouldn't hurt. No, I... Uh... You... If you needed help, you could have just 
said what you needed and instead of just taking whatever that was. That's the best I can do at the moment, guys. I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna hold this up forever. <laughs> And she's sort of, she's still, she's fiddling with her fingers. She's like, well, that's just what they told me to do. I, I just, you know, I, I couldn't help it. Why couldn't you help it? Um, before she can answer, there is a sudden gold flash and a bit of a cold wind that sort of passes across you guys for a second. <laughs> And suddenly the two tunes that Marcel had charmed don't seem so charmed anymore. And the bands around their ankles are glowing. And they sort of rub at their faces like, oh, you, you, you. Oh, that's. Oh, um, hello. Really? Is, okay. is the little girl still charmed? The little girl is still charmed. Okay. Bop, 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 bop. Gil is going um, to very carefully step in front of her now. So now and look at the other tunes and grin pleasantly at them and say, you know, we have what you need. You should really tell us why no, you is, need it, huh? They both sort of float up off of the construction equipment that they were sitting on and sort of hover there um, and they don't look particularly pleased. And they sort of like, no, we don't have to tell you anything. Now give us the give us the artifact and we'll might not might not have to uh, take drastic measures. Hmm? Uh Bob is just gonna slowly start stepping back <laughs> towards Marcel, the group. Marcel he still has it in his hard. hammer space and he's not <laughs> moving to get it out. I don't have enough, I don't have no, 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 no. And you he already had her lollipop out. You don't understand how this works. I'm going to get out his frostbread oh. raper again. And he pulls it out and flips it towards them. Oh. You know. Yeah. yeah. You really should just tell us. But if you don't, I guess we're going to have to fight, huh? They both yeah. sort of yeah. sigh and look at each other and then look down at the little girl. Yeah, and okay. then they're like, uh, she's not even controlling the, uh, little kids are so unreliable, says the dark colored one. And then the one with the red hair looks at him, oh, but they're so tasty. What? No. What did you no. just say? And they sort of stretch slightly and like, oh, well. Let's see if our other new toy. Sandy is a rushes more... towards them. <laughs> <laughs> well, that makes me much more run along. Uh, let's yeah, see go if ahead. New toy is a little bit more useful. And before you can take any further actions, Boy. another tune steps out of the shadows and walks over to stand with the two that are floating in the air. He's a thin, human-shaped Frankenali with fair skin and blue hair. And as tunes, you are all vaguely aware of the background music that sort of plays in the distance, something that's you know is there, but you don't really take notice of it unless you really try. But when you lay your eyes on this lanky tune, it swells with a low, uneasy roll of cello and clarinet, and it is impossible to ignore. Mm. And the little girl standing beside Gil whimpers a little. With uh, a, behind uh, Gil, because Gil stepped in front Gil. of her. <laughs> behind Gil, she's still looking, though, and she just sort of whimpers and clings to his arm you with a cheerfully. Is he your yes, yes. friend? Before she can answer, the one with the red hair points at you all and says, Okay, my little toy, deal with these interlopers and retrieve our artifact. He sweeps his staff around and points it at you all and with a shroom, a, a scythe blade comes out to the end. And I am going to get everyone to roll me initiative, please. All right. Oh, boy. Okay, let's see. Why does this always happen to us? 
Um, because Mars, we're main characters. It's just we're main Mars. characters in this series. This always happens because it, it, Treble just follows me, you You're know? Up. And then yeah. I gotta roll. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> and is it okay if I roll for Rad as well, since he's technically mm -hmm. cool? Because Rad's his own tune now. <laughs> Hell yeah! And he's got his own initiative bonus. Oh Hell wow! Yeah. <laughs> Never mind, they're going at the same time. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> they both roll twenty-one. I can't believe that. Wow. Bob and, and Red, Sandy. I didn't. Gil uh, and Marcel. Yeah. I did not pre-roll his initiative. D twenty-one. Oh boy. Mm hmm. <laughs> You know, like he, do I just call him Blue Boy in the initiative order? I don't know what well. his name is. His name is Jeffrey. Or oh, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Because that's what the little girl said. <laughs> um, what am I doing? I'm sorting my range for my initiative so everyone can the right one. Ah. Damn, initiative. Oh, goodness. This is fine. This is not fine. This is fine. I mean, think about it. Bob's got the <laughs> stuff in his hammer space. What's the guy gonna do? Attack Bob until Bob... <laughs> oh, I'm uh... counting on it. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Um, okay, we are... Uh... You people, did you ever actually end up teaching Bob, like... Oh, no, 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 no. All right, yeah. all right, okay. Yeah, yeah. All don't right. Worry. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> I've, I've prepared. Okay. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Well, if if I uh, by Vance list, Rad's going first. Yep, Rad is going first, and because Rad is uh is a little uh barbarian now, <laughs> uh Rad, who has just you know, he understands that things have not gone well and that these guys have not been nice. So this little radio is going to go into a little musical rage. Oh my god. It's a baby! Yep. Are uh, they on the naughty list? <laughs> oh my god. And Rad is gonna. Please oh my god, me, yeah. Please tell me that Rad is playing, you better watch out. Yep. Yep. You better watch out. Yep. You he literally beats on his radio, just goes, You better watch out. You better watch out. You better watch out. And he bolts at the, at the dude. Pulling out his signature bat, and he's going for a swing. Let's see, advantage on strength checks and saves, melee damage, bonus plus two. Okay. And I believe I can attack twice? If he's a barbarian, yeah. Yeah, I, I this is first time doing barbarian stuff, so. Alright, oh, so goody. let me roll to hit real quick. Can I do it for a treat? Barbarians do a lot of damage. Oh yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. I'm counting on it. Using regular Rat is no longer baby. Rat wants power. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I have to make sure I'm doing this right. Okay, no, that's that's a damage bonus. So this is just a hit. Oh wow, that's bad. That oh. does not. Go. Inspiration, not point. inspiration point. Yeah, I'm gonna use inspiration point because. Okay. What the heck? I want him yeah. to hit. Not Troy. Uh, he can do reckless attack if he wants. <laughs> I'm gonna be. This is the first. This is the first round. Let let's not go there just yet. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll just do the rate. So, uh, with inspiration, it just hits. Yeah. 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 Cool. So let's do one D. One plus two plus two again because he's in rage. Six. Brad. Six. Oh, that's not the right window. Six. Here. Cool beans. All right. Sweet. Then I can, uh, I'm going to do the, the attack twice things. Plus four again to hit. Nine. Is that it? Wow. Brad. Brad. Buddy. Brad. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, guess uh -huh. it's Bob's, I guess it's Bob's turn now. Yep. All right, what Bob's gonna do? Well, all right, Bob's gonna try one of the 
say, One of the, the spells you know, Marcel has just taught him recently. I'm gonna roll to hit. Yeah. I'm gonna roll to hit first. Let's see how that goes. Wait, do I need to roll to hit? Yes, I do. Yes. Does that hit? That does hit. Cool. Bob has just casted Eldritch Blast. Nice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I'm so yes. proud. D. My boy is my boy has grown so much and he has a warlock friend to teach him yeah, spells and yeah. magic initiative feet. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> Which lets him do this. Thank god I am so happy I gave him. <laughs> I'm so happy I gave him a wizard subclass. Heck yeah, pick uh, yeah, pick uh, yeah. Takes one D ten force yeah, yeah. damage, cool. Takes six, six. damage. So right. that with Rad's damage. Mm -hmm. Take twelve cool. damage, sir. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, he he takes that, uh, and um, he doesn't really call out in pain or anything, but it definitely landed really well. Uh, it is now, and he is going to attack Bob. Yep, I was hoping for that. Oh god, because I have. Re I'm I'm gonna let him roll first, but I do have a reaction. Okay. That. Cool. Uh, I'm just gonna use another spell called Shield. Cool. Oh, uh, nice. which, is re which is uh one reaction, uh, which you take when you are hit by an attack or targeted by a magical missile spell. Uh, so basically, until the start of your next turn, you have a plus five bonus to AC. Okay. So you don't take this. Doesn't hit. It doesn't. Hit. It doesn't. Hit. Oh, okay. Fantastic. Um. Cool. Uh, he... So Bob now has uh, 16 AC until his next turn. Hey, we're gonna ask something. Yes. When Bob's Eldritch Blast hit, did he I actually... Know, I know where it is. I know where it is. Right. What? <laughs> it's right here. It says Can you say that again? When Bob's Eldritch Blast hit, did he actually say, ha, I learned that from my bro friend? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, he went, ha, I, I it pinned went. our order for you. It worked! I learned that from my pro. I mean friend! <laughs> <laughs> Cute. Um, okay. Well, there's not really anything else he can do on his turn, which means it's Sandy's turn! Okay. And Sandy, oh, she's got boy. all of her physical stats back. <laughs> she has everything. Okay, uh, so... Are the other... Okay, so there's this guy, right? Mm-hmm. We're fighting the guy. What about the other two? They're not in combat. Uh, they have not made any moves to attack, but they're still there. Mm. Is it possible to make a area of effect spell that hits both uh, Jerry and the two of them? That is, let me look at the spell. Uh, ten foot radius. Um. Yes, you can do that, but I think. Because he attacked Bob with a melee weapon, uh, Bob is in range too. Mm, mm. Is Sandy mad in is Sandy mad enough to do this? That's up to you. He does have Yeah. I mean she's definitely not happy. Uh she's not happy. You know what? She's not happy and she honestly she is using her sorcery point to cast Shatter at, at a bonus action. As a bonus action. Okay. Sweet. Can he at least warn Bob? Can Is that possible? Can she at least yell for Bob to, like... Yeah. Um, if, if she wants. He does have shield up right now, so... Mm -mm. Okay, yeah, so he is harder to hit. Okay, so that's good. Uh, yeah, she casts that, and... They uh, let me look. You have to do a constitution saving throw. Yeah, it's just a constitution saving throw. saving throw. It doesn't matter if you have Oh, con save? Oh, yeah. okay. Eh, whatever. I do a con save. It's great. At I'll live. Prayer hand. It's con uh, that's a no. Yeah, Bob. Bob. Yeah, Bob's fine. <laughs> okay, so he takes. He, he did not succeed his con saving okay, throw. Okay, let me do the damage then. Okay. He Seventeen. <laughs> wow, <Wowza. laughs> And then she rushes up to this guy with her <laughs> with her lollipop and goes to hit him. 
as a reckless attack. Cool. Oh, oh gosh, boy. <laughs> reckless attack. You guys know what yeah. that means. Wow. Guess what well, I is. think that hits. I think that hits, right? <laughs> that absolutely does. Both of those do. <laughs> well, that was a reckless attack. 11. So. <laughs> she has done 28 damage. <laughs> I love Sandy. I love Sandy. Okay. And cool. Change. Groovy. I get to just skip. And that. she is growling. That's fair. Um, she's doing a reckless attack with her lollipop. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Cool. Uh, Sandy swings the lollipop around, and it connects with um with this tune's torso. And in the wake of the attack, he actually flies backwards and he slams with a very uncomfortably uh, harsh sounding crunch against one of the pieces of construction equipment that is nearby before falling into a heap in the snow. And the oh, yeah. little girl, I'm not going to do it because I like your ears, she screams and sprints away from Gil over to him. And the yeah. two other tunes look a little concerned. Like, mm, I think, I think a retreat may be a good idea. You're not getting away. It's not their turn yet. It's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is Gil's turn. And I'm going to uh, run up to them. Um... And a attack. D20. Combat. That's plus five. Um, do I get a bonus to that? Because I'm dueling? E. Yes. So that's actually plus seven because I am dueling. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm only wielding yeah. the rapier. I am dueling. <laughs> That's a net 20! Amazing. <laughs> yes. I'm, uh, yes. It's Frost Brand Rapier. Net 20. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, damage is 1d8. Um, and, and I am going to cast uh, a Branding Smite. <laughs> Amazing! Oh, That's a bonus wow. oh my gosh. And the charm person on the little girl drops, but I don't care anymore. <laughs> cool. <laughs> um uh, So let's see, that's uh 1d8 plus two for the regular Ten. Uh, cool. Doubled. Doubled. Yep, the the um the eight is doubled, so that's actually sixteen plus two. Eighteen. Um <laughs> No, okay. I think that's the damage is doubled, so it's twenty damage. I mean what they both very that? very Carry out two D six radiant damage. <laughs> so that's um so 20 plus 12 uh 32 32 damage for one <laughs> okay and that's wow. frost okay. frost damage both of them? frost and radiant <laughs> wait hold yeah. on did this attack with both of the wounds nope just one of them and which I one a, um the one that's does not have red hair Let's try that. Okay. Groovy. It's that one. Uh, and I yep. have a second she... attack. Yeah, cool. She's just gonna do... Okay. Um. So that what was that? That was 31 damage total? Um, 32. 32. 32. 32 because... <laughs> Damn. Okay. I'm doing, so... I can't have two not 20s like, immediately right after each other. And, and I have a second attack. <laughs> Oh jeez! Oh my god! I'm gosh. gonna do on the red-haired one. <laughs> okay. Um. You you lunge forward with your rapier at the one with the dark hair, and it definitely connects. 
and it feels like a fantastic shot. And she flies backwards, but you notice as she does so, that band on her ankle glows again, and um, she flops to the snow, but she manages to sort of half sit up-ish again. The other one... Is that 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 what that twenty four is to attack yeah, the one it's with the red hair? The other one, and yeah. I've got to roll. Uh, oh, okay. right. so not so not happy NPCs. <laughs> <laughs> they don't mess with the chaos fam, obviously. <laughs> they just shouldn't have messed with me. It's their fault. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh oh man. Two. That's hard. They can't become invisible until the spell ends. They uh, shed dim light in a five foot radius. I don't think. I don't think my second attack does. No, if it's the brand something a spell that put. Yeah, it's only on the first attack. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So the. Second is four damage. Four, of frost. okay. Of frost damage. Yep. Fantastic. Okay, that means it is Marcel's turn. I think because he's pretty sure that they're going to ca to like beat the hasty retreat. I think he'll be casting a trial to make sure that they won't. Uh, um. Uh, so. Blah blah blah. Uh, both of you make a. Both of the tunes need to make a wisdom saving throw. And because Gil initi I assume it, Gil initiated a fight with them. Mm hmm. So well, they have to do it on advantage. Mm hmm. Cool. Yeah, Gil's, that, Gil's attacked that, him. That, that, that. Okay. That, that's not hit, but you did do it on advantage. So one of the tunes like doesn't get entrailed, and what about the other one? Nope. That also hits. I I am going to make an executive position because I am starting to really dislike these tunes and use <laughs> and use both of myself's luck points to make you reroll. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> No. Uh, oh, shit. damn. One more. Wait, one more hit. Come on. One more. Come on. Please. Please. So, can I use my inspira inspiration <laughs> to make the one with the 19 reroll? <laughs> oh wow. my gosh. With. with? I mean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <Listen, laughs> <listen. listen>. Reroll. <laughs> The Chaos fam looked at these guys and decided, yep. No, 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 okay. no one gets away. Dang. Nope. Okay. Unless someone decides to use another inspiration point. Bob's and spell has been, has been used. So sorry. Wait, we're so still in this way. Oh. Wait, oh, no. wait, I want to do a thing. Can, can. Okay. Brad is, Brad is part bard. Can Brad give them Bardicky's inspiration real quick? Oh my god. Wait, how give does that work? A wisdom save. Oh wait, no. Uh, yeah, no. no. Never mind. Inspire another creature with a one d six that can with an inspiration uh, point. Reroll. I am bullying these things, and I do not care. <laughs> oh okay, so you're using your inspiration point too. <laughs> yep. Oh god. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> oh my gosh. That oh, doesn't okay. get to leave. <laughs> There's like the tune, like Not. the tune equivalent where their heads keep swiveling back and forth, back, like, to, like the, to like the nearest exit, back to Marcel, to the nearest exit, back to Marcel. And eventually, like, they like fall, like their eyes fall on Marcel entirely. And now, on a failed save, you have disadvantage on any checks made to perceive any creature other than Marcel until the spell ends in one minute or the targets can no longer hear Marcel. So basically, oh, okay. You're stuck, like, basically, you're, like, stuck, like, looking at him. You can't, like, react to anything other than him. Oh, okay. Groovy. Oh, my God. So what does Marcel say? He's just, like, he's just saying, like, this string of, like, words. And 
it seems to be in another language. Okay. <laughs> sure, sure. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, groovy. Then, is that all Marcel's doing? Yep. And Trial takes up one action to cast. Although he will, like, I do he will, like, kind of, like, point at, like, the injured, like, boy that that Sandy, like, bit up, up, like, and look at Kill. Like, heal this guy. <laughs> I'm going to roll perception to see if I see Oh my gosh. No. <laughs> if he does, if he fit, okay, yeah. Don't worry, Rad, Rad has been watching, so on Rad, Rad's next turn is gonna be. I mean, yeah. Rad goes first, so. Mm. Anyways. Um, okay, so it's, it's, it's our two, uh, lovable jerks turns. And I am just going to roll something real quick. That's no. Nine. Okay. That's not good. No, that's not good. That doesn't help them. Um, okay. Well, <laughs> they are not in a great way. No. Oh no, tragic. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. I'm so sorry. I'm so okay. these events. If they pass that me or exit my threatened squares, I get to hit them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Target has <laughs> advantage on wisdom checks. Okay, well, I guess they are going to. Attack Marcel because they don't have a lot of choice. Do they pass by me? Oh no, they're not moving. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> they are going to. All right. Sweet. They the first one is going to cast Toll the Dead. Um, so I need Marcel to do a wisdom saving throw. Mm hmm Okay. Does, it, does that do it? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, fine. Uh, the other one is also do a spell. No, that's, that's touch, is it? Uh, okay. The, oh, the one that is less hurt so keep this, so keep that. is going to approach Marcel. Uh, so right, Gail so... gets an attack of opportunity. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we'll do that first. So that's leaving. Yep. Oh, Plus boy. seven because I am dueling. Does that hit? Uh, right, that does seven, hit, seven. yes. Oh, okay. That's one D. Eight plus two. I don't think I can do Branding Smite on this. Um, no. no, it is still up. Yeah, that's six damage. Okay. No problem. Um, the one that is... Okay, so they got the attack of opportunity. They still get to have the rest of their turn. Oh no, I scrolled away from the spell. Okay, so the other one is going to come up to Marcel and is going to attempt to do inflict wounds can i can i argue that while the coon is in the process of casting a spell can i argue that marcel can take something out of his coat sure all right because he has recently bought something not recently but he just never got to use it he bought this <gasps> oh i yeah oh no, my gosh kind of no you <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh man, and inflict wounds too. That's gonna hurt if it oh. works. He needs to succeed first. Okay. I know, but if it does, it's gonna hurt. Let's see. Because inflict wounds hurts. 14. So is that against my. No, the DC is 10 plus what level the spell is being cast at. Okay. So if you uh, cast the spell at fourth level, then that that um yeah that actually like still like rebounds it. Okay, well she's not casting it at fourth level. <laughs> oh boy. Because like wounds is a level one necromancy spell. It's not. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh yeah, it absolutely is. Okay, so 
On success, the fa spell fails and has no effect. If you exceed the check by three or more, you can choose to rebound the spell on the cast. It may only be used once per day. But he's so, exceeded by three or more. Yep. Oh, yep. Okay. So I don't have to roll to hit myself, do I? Uh, I think so. Yes. Okay. Well, I'll roll to hit. Ten. Oh man. Okay. Do you have to roll to hit, hit your Wait, no, I thought like no, I thought that Wiz was asking to roll to hit damage. You don't have to roll to hit. Okay. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, should yeah, just roll okay. damage for the yeah, okay, well, damage. Because no you. Hey, so <laughs> I no mean, you. I'm so uh, glad I Okay. So, I cannot believe we are wiping the floor with these guys. <laughs> 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 them are mad. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, but they called a child tasty. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, and, yeah. and that. Okay. Oh, that's some okay. shivers also, down Gil's so, spine. He's not about that. And also, yeah. one more thing to do. Like, Marcel did not like them calling the two children toys. It reminded him of something he would very much judge for him. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. So, um, after the 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 tune with the red hair came up to try and cast this spell on Marcel, and I had a mirror brandished at them, and they basically smacked themselves in the face with the inflict wounds because it's a touch spell. Um, and they sort of stumble back, and they sort of look at you all it's like, "Oh, this is bad." And she so, comes out of her hair a piece of regular looking rope and he tugs on it twice. Tug, tug. And then there's sort of a voip, voip, voip sort of noise and she disappears. Uh -huh. And you look over at the other one who is not healthy <laughs> at all <laughs> and it has you can a, see a, a, a piece of rope brand. <laughs> oh yeah like it like like it's like um i don't know if you guys read the, the phantom comics but it's like, like like when you get punched by the phantom ring you've got the skull yeah, imprinted yeah. into your skin for the rest yeah, of your it's life like it's kind of like that <laughs> um but uh yeah she's not not doing too crash hot and, and she also has pulled out a rope, and you look over just in time Wait, to see the no, whoop, 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 no, we and we're going to keep it, but we well. can cut it out from the place. And it's suddenly now. it's quiet. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't done that yet. That's and so, you can still oh, hear mm. the background music oh, that, that playing so in your that. mind's ear. And what was a great oh, swell oh, of an orchestra, oh, it's now oh, no, yeah, 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 quiet. Cool. With a uh, gentle yeah. piano, yeah. just very gently playing, right. well, very yeah. softly. No, no. Um, so no. I'm. Thank God. How are you? The little, the little so, uh, girl is crying, and there's the only other thing that you can hear. Cool. Um, um, are we still uh, in initiative? You are no longer in initiative. Cool, because I have two. Well, I have two things that I would like to do because Bob has been watching this. Bob and Rad have been watching all of this. Oh, since man. the beginning. And Rad's rage has pretty much dissipated the moment Rad heard uh, the scream. And, but, so here's, oh, wait, they're not initiative order. Great, because Bob's also going to run over. Bob and Rad are going to run over to Jeffrey and the little girl. And Bob, uh, much like he had done with Sandy before, just in case, uh, he's going to cast a spell magic on Jeffrey yes. real quick. Sweet. Is spell um, magic? I'm gonna put away my. Yep, so you gotta make a. Yes. Awesome. Uh, um. Okay. Dispel magic. Fantastic. Yes. I'm gonna give yep. you advantage on that. Ooh. Ooh. So I gotta. I'm doing this each time. What did I do last time? It was. You you added your plus... uh, your casting modifier, modifier and the spell, spell level. level. Yep. That was it. Sixteen. Does that does? Yep. Cool. Um. So I don't, I don't remember if you guys saw the uh, the the gif that I I posted up there, but this entire time his line art had sort of been every now and then 
jittering slightly with a yellow sort of tinge. And as you cast your spell and you can sort of see the magic wash over him, the jitter and the yellow evaporate and his line art sits still. He's breathing slowly. Yeah. Uh, and the little girl is crying her guts out, though. Yeah. Bob does that, and Bob will put uh, his hands on the little girl's shoulder. As he's doing that to try and comfort her, Rad is going to cast Healing Word, because Bard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. No, no. No. Hello. Still recording. Internet, why? Discord, why? Please, 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 please. Oh, God. Okay, come on. She continues to cry, Hello. and like she's clinging to to Bob's clothes desperately, hey, as hey, if hey, that hey. would help. Oh no! I know. Sorry. Can you Hold hear on. me? Oh, oh we, can hear you. we can Hello? hear you. Hello. I, I cut out. Uh, my internet decided to misbehave. Um, oh no! Okay, Bob put his hands on the little girl to try to comfort her as. Rad cast healing word. What happened after that? Uh, the uh, girl he, started crying and uh, Bob pulled her into like a pool, comforting her. Yeah, Bob's just hugging her to help soothe her. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, that is that is what is happening. Gil is uh, Gil's going to slowly walk over up behind Rad, still watching everywhere. Brad okay. looks up at, at Gil, a little word like doot doot. I, I don't know where they went, Brad, but I don't trust this. Doot doot. Brad, Brad is just holding uh, Jeffrey's head at the moment, mm -hmm. just keeping it, uh, basically using his lap as a pillow. I don't think I don't think they were at fault, Gil. I uh I I I cast a spell magic on him just in case he's on he was under a spell. And the, the, the little girl looks up when Bob says that, and she's like, "You you you made it go away." Yeah, I I think so. She spins around and pushes away from, from Bob a little bit and flops back to the, her knees in the snow and tries to give him a bit of a, a bit of a shake. He's like, Jeffrey, wake, wake up. Please, please wake up. The magic is gone. You could be okay now. Hold on, hold on. You have to let he... I'm sorry, but he need to... I think he just needs to rest a little bit, okay? He's gone through a lot. He, he needs healing. I, I don't I don't know any 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 spells for that I only okay. I'm, a, I'm burning still. Oh here let here let me let me try and Bob's gonna put a hand on on Jeffrey and also cast cure wounds because that's the thing that he has. So let me roll my my one. I'm gonna go back over to Sandy. Plus my casting modifier. Eleven. Nice. So he's got eleven HP back. Because I Good. just suddenly noticed that Sandy is still standing where she was. Cool. She's still where she is, and she is shaking. Oh boy. Hey, 
Uh, Sandy. She punches the bed to, to Gil's voice, and like, like, she turns to him almost ready to, like, hit him, but then sees it's Gil, and then stops. Uh, Gil doesn't even flinch. And he, um, slowly reaches up and puts his, uh, hand on her shoulder. It's... They're gone, Sandy. It's okay. <laughs> if I see them again... I know. Oh. What about the other one? The other one? You mean the, the, the kid? Yeah. You had Do some... I need to hit them too? No, 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 no. I? No. He had some magic on him. Bob took care of that. So we don't have to get rid of them. Okay. No, they're, they're fine. They're, they're just kids. Hmm. Mm -hmm. She slumps into the ground and just takes a breather. Uh, uh, okay. Um, Gil is going to very slowly sit down next to Sandy. <laughs> you don't have to talk if you don't want to, I guess. But, um, okay. I'm, I'm listening, if, if you want to. I, I, I don't know, I, <laughs> and she starts crying. She doesn't know why. I, I, it's okay, right? It's gonna be okay. You, um, yeah, it's gonna be okay. Uh, do you, uh, do you want to hug me, Sandy? You, you seem to like that. Can I? Mm-hmm. She slowly, <laughs> she slowly inches up to Gil and just hugs him tight, and she's still crying. Very slowly curls his arms uh, around her. Thank you. It's gonna be okay, Sandy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Is I can do Oh boy. <laughs> boy. Um, <laughs> so if you guys want to continue, we're just gonna be over there yeah. for a little while. I think I think, well, I think Bob at the moment is still just focusing on uh, on comforting the little girl and just uh, trying to keep her from from shaking Jeffrey because oh boy that boy went through a good a walloping and even he though did, he's, he really did go through a walloping wowza yeah um and but after after that um, most recent uh, uh, healing. Effort. Um, a few moments later, you can see him wince, and his eyes open. And unlike, unlike before, where they were yellow, now they are they're black, just like um, the little girl's eyes are. And she's delighted, and she tries to uh, launch herself at him. And uh, Bob may want to roll a strength to stop her. Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a strength. Because we all know strength is Bob's uh, <laughs> forte. Oh boy. That's not bad. It's not mm. bad. It's not great. And I have nothing to help it along. <laughs> well, oh, I closed the. Closed her character sheet. Oh well. Um, her... I, could, I could make a save with Rad since Rad is by Jeffrey's head. <laughs> Um, what's so Rad could intercept, but eh. what's her strength? 
Oh, right, window might help. Oh my God, can I type, please? There we go. That's oh. enough. That's okay. <laughs> that is enough. You wrap your arms struggling. around her as she lurches forward, and she's still crying. And she's like, Jimmy, oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't surprise him too much. She's been through a lot. And he grunts, and he's slowly trying to sit up. Uh, Brad will help him up. And, like, his clothes are all... Ruined really, like they're all singed and shit. <laughs> and he's just sort of he brings a hand up to his face and he looks like he has the world's worst headache as well as everything else. What, what are you okay? Are you okay? And he sort of looks up and he can see you holding, uh, holding the little girl back and and he just sort Whoa! of drowns. He's like, who are, who are you? Oh, um, hi, yes, I'm Bob. Yes, yes. Bob. Yeah, uh, Missy, Missy, you've well, been sure. crying. Um, Jeff, Jeff, they, they, they were, and, and, and stuff, and, uh, I think and Bob will sort of, let her go now to let them hug. He, yeah, there, there, he, he reaches his arms out, and she basically, like, you know, like magnets, and she just clings to him, and he just sort of wraps his arms around her, and he sort of slumps into her a bit. He's still pretty rough. He's like, it, it I'm fine, I think. God, I ache all over. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, sorry. Where are where are we? Um So uh Bob looks around them. Con a construction site, I think. I think you were being mind controlled, but I, I dispelled it, so I think you should be fine now. Mind Mind control. So oh. I, think that, I, I think that's what it was. I, I didn't have, I mean, we didn't really have time to really uh, observe it. No, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it was, it was, George, George, Miss Georgia, Miss Betty, did it, Jeffrey? Oh, no. It's the last time we hitchhike. Oh. It, you all, well, yeah, you Brad, Brad, broke me out of it. Uh, and yeah. 40 to what? 42. If you don't mind me asking, what happened? How did you meet uh, yeah, those so two we have, we have 40, we have people? Six, we, have six, we came across them on, on the road, and they offered us a ride in the, in there. They had a, a cart, and we'd been walking for a week and a half, so it seemed like a good idea to take them up on their offer. But I don't, I don't remember anything about it from that. Um, I don't know. Uh, Bob's gonna look up at Marcel, looking concerned. They, they, we, uh, I know Chris asked if they would give us a wiggle room. And Marcel, like, Marcel, looking at Bob, and like he has no idea what to say, like. You can't exactly go, hey, so, uh, yeah, you probably got mind control. In, Bo in Bob's mind, Bob's thinking, uh, actually, you know, he's going to say, it It sounds like, Marcel, it sounds like they, I'm not sure if these two really have anything to do with it. It seems like they just happened to get picked up at the wrong time. Oh, oh yes, uh, I mean, yes, I, I believe... The I believe plan. you, and he so, definitely like believes it. But and he goes, now, we're only "Well, it wasn't exactly the same." But yes, I yeah, so, I've so, seen yeah. my control before, and the fact that your eye colors changed, and <laughs> yeah, I I believe. So, uh, so let me let me report. Let me. Let me I think, and you'll look over at where Sandy and Gil are. So, I think we should get back to. There. I think we should get back yeah. more into yeah. town. Get back to the museum and also get these two to somewhere safer. Yes, that would be best. Hey, uh, Bob, do you want to roll a perception check? Yeah, because I love rolling perception checks. That's where Bob's strength is. <laughs> I'd, I'd rather do that than a strength check with Bob. Well, we need to yeah, there we go. Yeah. That's hey, a 24. That's so more like nice. it. As you're watching Gil uh, basically start to just rock back and forth with Sandy in his arms, 
the cloud is gone. Oh, yeah, it's a weekend. Oh. What? Yeah. You cut the out. Cloud, the cloud that oh, was God. over Gil's head oh. is gone. Okay. Oh. Pop just sighs. I think Bob sees that and actually will uh, will look at Marcel again and gesture his head for Marcel to look. Uh, all swell ends well, and like he gives like a weak smile at like Bob and goes, uh, I mean, I guess lucky us then. Burn that image into your mind because it's so cute. Oh, yeah, burn, um, burn the image of Gil uh, hugging Sandy and uh, gently uh, rocking her back and forth because it's not yes. gonna happen for a really long time. I know, <laughs> man. <laughs> it's a good image. It's oh. a very good image. Oh. Um, as as you're sort of appreciating the lovely little scene over there, yeah. um, your your new thank you friend sort of starts trying to yeah. get up off of the snow, uh, and the, the little girl is is trying her best to to help him up. That is oh. and also going to help. Oh. Shall I roll strength for my boy? <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, can I roll with proficiency and not yes. just cool? Plus four. What? Oh. Rad? <laughs> Why is Rad rolling so badly? <laughs> I think we're going to try and assist. So let's see if. Oh my gosh! Holy! <laughs> oh my gosh! And 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 so as always, and so continues. the gag continues. For some the gag continues. Okay, so continues. I guess like I guess the fact that Bob believes wholeheartedly, yeah. so <laughs> strong, like he somehow managed to like carry this like, thing on his back, even though he shouldn't be able to. Oh, oh. Uh, dear, hey, okay. dear. <laughs> Amazing. I heard uh, has he's a not... six pack. <laughs> I heard he's shredded. Um, <laughs> wait, he's happening. He's not very heavy, and he's also not very tall. Like he's very lanky. Um, but he's only four foot nine, so he's uh, yeah. he's he's not really any really any bigger than Sandy or or Gil in the scheme of things. Um, and he he uh, grunts a little as you lift him up. He's like, "I'm, thank you. Sorry, I. God, if if they were, I we literally owe you our lives here. Uh, it's it's all it. No, please don't, please don't. The the and as he's like maneuvering them into like piggyback position, so it's easier. He's like. Please, uh, please, we're, we're just, we're just glad that you're both safe, and, uh, it's not our first time doing this either, so it's fine. Yeah, this is actually not, this is actually probably the best it's gone, considering. This actually well, went very well. Well, I, we didn't even have to run from the police this time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of, where, you'd think we'd hear sirens by now. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, there they are. Uh, Gil immediately hears the sirens, jumps up with Sandy. Uh, do, I need a strength check for that, don't Yeah, I? please do. Oh, yeah. Please do. Uh, so. oh, please make it work. 19's not bad. Oh no, 19 was bad. No, oh, that oh, no. hold on. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Gil tries to jump up, but Sandy's on top of him, so he jumps, goes Bleh! and slams back into the snow. <laughs> oh, Sandy, Sandy, we gotta go. We got, we, 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 we gotta get out of here. Okay, okay. It's okay. She wipes away her tears and gets up. <laughs> Gil, they're not after you this time. Time you have your, you still have your disguise on. Gil hops up and immediately starts uh, moving until Bob says it stops. Oh right, I think I do have a disguise. <laughs> I think like, Marcel, I think Marcel's going to look at like the boy on his back and like his little sister and goes, "Actually, it's not that owing our lives thing. Would you mind being a viewer and not mentioning Gil at all?" I. Yeah, I can, I can, we can do that. Right, we can we do that, right? Right, Missy? Yeah, yeah, we can, we can do that. Thank you. Thank you. 
Uh, we should probably... Huh, actually... I have a thought that's kind of a dishonest one, but I'm not good at deception. Are you... Um, are you insinuating we keep the face? I... Considering where the museum kept it, and considering what these what those people were willing to do to get it, I don't think the museum knows how important it is. And sure, yeah. we could tell them, but I don't know. I and and doesn't it have a piece missing, anyways? Yeah, I think something is miss. I think something is. I, I mean, I'm not too sure. I would have to. No, I'm I saying. No, I agree with you. I don't think he stacks. I don't think they they'd be able to keep it safe. But Bob, that that would make you a target. That's not much different than my usual life, Marcel. Let's be honest. I mean, you guys work yeah. at Dodo Studios. Yeah, yeah. We can try <laughs> pass it around between us. Oh, we can do that. We'll that have to probably be probably well work. We'll just have to be careful and keep it in our hammer space whenever it's not being uh, studied, I guess. Marcel again looks at Jeffrey and like the little girl and goes, Man, we trust you both to also not mention this. Um, the, the boy on your back just looks baffled, but he gives a nod and uh, the little girl nods more enthusiastically. More importantly, what are you two going to do now? You said you were hitchhiking. Oh, yes. Um, God, I don't know. Traveling is not really on my high priority list at the moment. And I would really like to make it all this up to you. I mean, we seem to have put you out quite a bit. Um, you don't have to make it up for us. The fact that you're covering for Gil and our little... I'm really bad at deception, so I really appreciate I really appreciate you not telling anyone. Well, I would I really want to do something. I mean again, literally save their lives. I could Are you I could buy you something, a reward of some sort. No. I can't think of anything. Uh, Sandy, little did girl. you want to go shopping? The little girl tugs on Marcel's jacket because there's a there's a market. We could buy something at the market. Marcel's like Marcel's just. Do you guys have the gold to spare? Oh yeah, yeah. No, we've we've got plenty. He well, he at least let me do this or, for you. Like the fact that they were traveling by themselves without supervision and had to hitchhike was hmm. That does not sound like someone who has a, who has like enough pool to like be giving rewards. Gil sidles up to the little girl and leans over and goes, Psst. "How about instead you you just give me a um." Give us ideas for gifts for other people. Can we some roll perception so I can see if you hope you like that? Let me roll stealth. <laughs> Wait, what? What did I? What? I'm rolling stealth. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Gail is being very loud. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're welcome to contest it with your perception if you want. Bob well, is just. Bob is just shaking his head at Gil, but Gil, um, it's Gil a fun. Is, it's fondly. Gil is asking for ideas for gifts. He's, oh my he's God. not asking for money. He's asking for ideas. The, the little girl gasps. And she, I I could show you some cool stuff. Yeah, that would be really cool. We could we could go go to the market. And she's doing a stage with <laughs> Let's go. All right. Back to, I guess, back to where we left off. Hold on, hold on. Jeffrey, you, uh, do you think you need a healer? Uh, I... I have a few I more spell slots of cure wounds. Oh, uh, no, no, don't... Uh, don't bother. Gil's gonna walk up and, like... 
press a hand um, and give him 10 hit points from his lay on hands ability. Oh, beauty. He uh, he does perk up significantly at that. He's like, oh. Oh, wow. I've not hung under that spell for a while. Thank you. Um, yeah, don't mention it. Seriously, do not mention it. <laughs> I, I will do my best to remember that. Oh, Gil, um, that was so nice of you. Th- 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 quiet! Shut up! <laughs> I'm I mean, a terrible a villain! Bit. Oh, oh, of course. I mean, oh no, Gil, I can't believe you've done this. And <laughs> Bob's laughing. He gives <laughs> myself a little bit of a pat and says, you could, you could probably put me down. Sure. And um, when he's on his own two feet, he does sort of do a little bit of a wobble, but then sort of straightens. And then he offers Marcel a hand to shake. It's like, I'm not sure where Jeffrey came from, but my name is is Chifley Ford. It's nice to meet you. Oh, even uh, if they're in a bit odd circumstances. Oh, sorry for oh, sorry for butchering your name. I I must have misheard it when she. Actually, what is your name? And he's looking at the little girl. She looks up and she's like, My name is Missy Ford! Well, nice to meet you, Booth, then. Uh, Missy Ford, uh, Chiffrey Ford? <laughs> Chiffley, yes. I feel like there's a joke to be made there, but I don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> it's Bob um, saying it because he literally doesn't. <laughs> that's fair. Well, he's That's fun. very fair. People I feel like there's a pun here, but I have no idea what it is. <laughs> I'll explain it in a minute. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, okay. The last thing that you guys notice as you make your way out of the construction site and back towards the market uh, is the background music that you had been still hearing in the back of your head has quietened. And you get the feeling it's still there, but it it's back where it should be outside your usual range of notice unless you actively try and pay attention i think i'm gonna roll perception i have a feeling i know what the music is so do i but, i'm gonna but, roll a perception for fun <laughs> You know what? Oh, sure, why not? Seventeen. That's really good. I'm rolling perception because Bob current because those two are still out there, and Bob is aware that he still has something of importance in his hammer space. <laughs> All right. Um, it's 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 still there, definitely. And you listen, and it's um actually relatively cheerful. It's kind of happy ending kind of music. It's light and calm and gentle. <laughs> Huh. What do you Wait, guys make of that? How is Sandy going? Uh, how is Sandy doing? She is kind of in the back of the group. She doesn't have her usual skip to her step, but at least she's smiling a bit. Uh, in that case. Well, I'm not sure what to make of that, but you know what? It's a week before Animus, so uh, Bob's going to reach... Uh, gonna offer he's got one hand holding rads but he's gonna offer the other hand to sandy let's let's oh. let's make the rest of this a good day okay gil she is, shakes it. Gil is conspiratorial, conspiratorially whispering with the young child and hopefully getting some good uh some good advice for gifts for bob rad and sandy because he already has one for Marcel. Oh, <laughs> Missy loves doing this. She she looks like it's, it's like the, the best thing ever to be like scheming. <laughs> and so like, she's taking one look at your face and going, "Memes, oh, schemes are good." <laughs> Apparently, she does not care that she was charmed person earlier by Kill. <laughs> no, wait, wait. Oh God, I have a I have an important question for Gil. If the rain clouds con, what? If the rain cloud is gone, what became of the rubber duck? Because that's where Rabbit <laughs> left it. Oh, uh, so, uh... There she is. There was a squeaky toy noise, and then it seemingly disappeared into his pocket. 
Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Make it I'm just checking. Amazing. Uh, I, for, I completely forgot about it until now. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Alrighty. Are you heading back to the market? Dinner. I think we're self done. Alright. Yeah. So he goes. Yeah. Um, uh, I mean. Uh -huh. This is for animus, but I think then he reaches into his hat and he takes off a tin of like butter cookies. <gasps> and a tin of butter cookies. And you'll notice that um, the thing that they're in, they have been divided into a few sections, and each section has a different flavor. And they seem to be like the favorite flavors of the Chaos Farm. <laughs> So one of them is poison berry. <laughs> yes, and this one has awesome signs slapped onto it. Yeah. Oh, That's great. Gosh. I love. And he um, offers we... it to like Sandy, Gil, and Bob and Ren. And well, also Vivian. And I'm not even gonna try to pronounce his name, but you know. Chifley. Yeah. Chifley. Here, I'll I'll type it in here. Like that. <laughs> Chifley, all right. Wait a minute, Chifley. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna set the new cookies. Okay, you've now got cookies, and that makes everything so much better. Um, and you head back to the markets, and you can sort of vaguely hear the police sirens off in the direction of the the museum, and you feel like maybe they should have done something maybe about an hour ago. But they're over there. So Another reason going... Bob is not confident about leaving the vase with them because that's how long it took the police to get there. Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, so Missy takes sort of she she tries to take Gil's hand to lead him around the market. Is he gonna stop her? Uh, no. Awesome. So you are now being yeah. dragged around by a a very small toon who's smaller than Bob. How tall is Rad? Smaller than Bob. Okay. Probably Fair around enough. the about same height. About the same size as, as Rad. You're being dragged around the market and she's pointing at this thing and she's pointing at that thing. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, while she's doing that, uh, Chifley is going and looking at some other stalls, and he sort of keeps you and Missy in um, in eyesight. But he goes over to a stall, and you can see him picking up some items off of a stall and handing over what is suspiciously large coin bag looking thing in exchange. Marcel, hmm. 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 who has like spent the last five minutes trying to convince Tiffany that there is no debt to be paid. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, Marcel, you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, and he, he's going to hold on to his purchases uh, until until uh, Missy and Gil are finished with their shopping. Yeah, Bob has no shopping to do, but he is just going to stay with Sandy and Rad. They now have adult supervision. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I, I think he gets a hat for Bob and a scarf for Sandy and um, you come up with what we picked out for Rad mm -hmm. what? oh me? yes, you um, okay, so um, it's a kind of like an extra sketch oh, okay, cool Heck yeah, Brad would be all over that. Also, Hart, what kind of what kind of hat? Um, this is important. It is very important. Uh, yeah. hmm. what kind of hat would Gil pick? Uh, you know one of those fishing hats. Oh my oh god. My <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. It does not match Bob's wardrobe at all, but Bob wears it proudly. <laughs> he loves it. He doesn't know otherwise. Let's see. Uh, What's fashion? Let's see. Uh, 
Yeah, hey, thank thank you very much, and I'll, I'll see you on Monday with Bell's Little Spot. Hand. Uh, <laughs> my dad's <laughs> beating me. Oh, no. That was three. Oh, my God. Not subtle. No, nope, not subtle. Oh. <laughs> no, that's okay. Nope. That's not very subtle either. <laughs> what are you trying no. to do? What are you that's trying so to good. do? So what is this? Art. What are you trying to do? I took, I feel like he did not pay gold for this present. He took the ram. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> what was he trying to do? He stole the he got, presents. He got... Oh my gosh! <laughs> trying to shock uh, Yeah. Um. You know what? I'm gonna well, just allow that and have it just be done because that's funny. Because <laughs> I, I, I I like that. That's great. Um, I mean, the police are them. all over at the museum. That's <laughs> true. That's and just like, shame. you also have you also have a little minion sidekick being very loud, going "Oh, or oh, 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 that," and he's sort of oh talking gosh. to the, the shopkeepers as well. So, <laughs> what about I, I'm going to say that even though you weren't particularly stealthy, and anybody paying attention could see you do it. The, sh the people manning those stalls were paying more attention to Missy, so they didn't see, which is the important part. <laughs> I'm just honestly, like, when you rolled those stealth rolls, I honestly expected you to go, oh, Gil is not giving the presents immediately, but just, like, uh, slipping them to my No, no, hand. no, those are sleight of hand to steal the presents. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Nice. <laughs> Great. And <laughs> um, so you rejoin the others, and Chifley is holding in his arms uh, four identical boxes with uh, a blue pattern on the outside that has like potion bottles and wizard hats and wands and swords. And the, the words on the top of the box say magical blind box. And he looks at you all and says, I, I don't know you all very well to buy a more. Uh, targeted thank you gift but uh, hopefully there's something of interest in each of these and he hands you each uh, a one of these boxes oh, oh. Thank, you. oh. thank you you really didn't have to do this I'm going to immediately open the box <laughs> Okay, inside Gil's box, there seems to be a, there's a little tub um, of, it kind of looks like shoe polish, but there's a little tag on the bottom that says, Smoldering armor polish, a paste that will, when rubbed onto metal surfaces, give off wisps of harmless, odorless smoke until it is washed off. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Interesting. Sandy opens hers. <laughs> Inside Sandy's box, there is sparkly pink shoelaces, and this is the tag. Shoelaces of the Sugar Plum Fairy. Make Aww. any item of clothing they are threaded or tied onto sparkle as though they are coated in sugar crystals. Oh, put guess. them on. Put them on. Does Rat also get a box, or just Bob? Uh, just Bob. Okay, cool. Bob's going to open his. Inside Bob's box there it looks like a a takeaway coffee cup but made out of like plastic or something maybe and the tag says dilbert's to go cup any liquid placed inside the cup is kept at that same temperature indefinitely bob's eyes light up <laughs> coffee <laughs> <laughs> they oh my gosh thank you Marissa opens his last, like, he kind of, like, reluctantly because he has been, he had to achieve lead. There was no need to repay him, but okay then. <laughs> <laughs> Inside Marcel's is a little pouch. It looks empty, though. And the tag says, Hellward's Handy Spice Pouch. Someone holding the pouch could reach into it and speak the name of any magic, non-magical seasoning, salt, pepper, saffron, etc., and produce enough of that seasoning to apply to a single meal can be used up to 10 times until the pouch recovers at the next dawn. Oh, he immediately, like, his hair goes woof and he opens his eyes and, like, just, he's just ecstatic at that. He opens his eyes? Do I see it? He opens his eyes. <laughs> do we see? <laughs> what did you roll for? I want to see if you can see, see Marcel's eyes. Oh, my oh, oh, I need to roll as well. <laughs> oh, my fucking god. <laughs> oh, I gotta roll for 
Seventeen. Bob sees. Please tell me he sees. Please. Please. <laughs> Crap. Do I have to like? Do I have to roll anything to contest this? I mean, do you want to? I say you want to. Yes, it would be funny. I don't know what I would roll the contest. Uh, roll stealth. Stealth. <laughs> stealth. I guess. All right. Sure. Let's go with that. We see. Jiffly, who rolled a seven as well. So Missy and Jiffly both saw that too. Yeah, it's it pretty. Yeah, it is his regular. Like they've never seen his eyes, but it's gold and blue. Gold on the on his on his. It's gold on his right eye and light blue on like his left eye, and both of them have twin stars in them. <laughs> Oh, your eyes are so pretty. And, oh, God, I just realized. Ah! Bob is just realizing. I left all your gifts out. I left all your gifts back in Marcel's apartment. I should have brought them. No, it's fine. We can just open them tonight. I think we all just oh, wait, wait, hold on a second. And Sandy rushes off. Wait, wait. Sandy, wait. Bob's still wait, holding her hand. Bob is going along. Yeah. And she used Bob sees Sandy buy a bunch of stuff and it's all put into a sack and then she runs right back. <laughs> I have kids! Uh, Bob's just standing there looking very dizzy, like, uh. Well, lucky that. Very quick. Do we want uh, to uh, scene change to tonight? Sure. Yeah. You, um, lead. Missy and Chifley at the train station of uh, Framore Town as they have decided they are going to catch a train. Um, and the rest of you will pile into Bob's car and make the trip home. And it is very relievingly uneventful. And you make it back to Marcel's apartment as the sun is sort of starting to get really low and it's very picturesque with the uh, snow-covered buildings all out in the distance. Oh, okay. We're back. Oh, Ooh. we're back. All right. What a day. <laughs> it wasn't even a full day. It was just a couple hours, I think. <laughs> I want to lay down. D10. Not before you have this, and he puts a, a scarf in Sandy's hand. <gasps> oh, oh, it's pretty! It's, wait, wait, wait! It's blue <laughs> and uh, has like fringes, and it's very warm. Oh, I like. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, she digs in her in her sack and pulls out some glasses and, it, and immediately puts them on Gil. <laughs> so you don't trip anymore. Uh, oh, those look nice. Mm. Okay. Here. <laughs> and she goes to <laughs> she goes to Bob and then uh hands out a turtle bracelet. Oh my gosh, it's a I don't know what animal this is. What is it? I have no idea, but it's cute! It is cute. And then <laughs> Sandy pulls out a pogo stick. Oh, no. Red eyes light up. Here you go. Hey, Marcel. I yeah. would like to apologize, but Red's going to put this in the apartment. You see Marcel in the background, like, just suddenly, like, putting all, like, his fragile, like, glass sculptures and everything. Like, he's putting it inside, like, the jelly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put that away. Put that away. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Huh? Yeah. And she pulls out a big old book. I. I, I think you like books, right? Yeah, yeah, I do. And he reaches out to take the book. And he looks at the cover, and I'm just going to casually, uh, please, make cuts, please, dice cuts, please. Please tell me you're making a sex save or something. Please tell me you're... 17. Um, have you ever seen someone so ecstatic that they just swing, like, because he is so ecstatic at seeing the never-ending storybook that he's, he's been <laughs> trying to like he's been like 
he he was one to buy since he signed it in Club Star and was like devastated when it went out of stock like literally a few days before. And he sees it and he's just he swings like Sandy up into his arm and just like pushing <laughs> her around. Like <laughs> further cementing the theory that he's actually very, very ripped. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing that to him uh, because yes. Gil slinks yeah, on over to Bob and places a fishing hat on Bob's head. Although the fishing hat oh. is pink. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a hat. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, Gail, thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Didn't um, know what else. No, I love it. Um, oh, I don't no. suppose I can give you... Oh, actually, instead of a hug, I have something else. <laughs> Let me go get my presents real quick. <laughs> hey, Rad. Rad. Do it. And he do it. shows Rad the etch sketch Here. That's, do it, do it. that's yours. Brad doesn't know. I'm actually going to roll just intelligence for Rad. Let's see if Brad can figure out what the f what the peck this is. Where's your where's your where's your peck I'm just going to roll straight intelligence. This should be fine. It's a negative one. It should be fine. Nope. Brad doesn't know what it is. He just looks at you, Gil, like, what is this? Uh, Gil uh, turns one of the knobs and it draws. Look, you can draw with it. Dude. Dude, dude. Brad places the pogo stick into his hammer space and will now just sit down and start start uh, playing with the etch a sketch. <laughs> oh my god. Amazing. And the last thing Gail right. is going to do is slink on over to Marcel and. Hand Marcel some very gaudy looking gloves. Oh, uh, thank you. And he he looks at Glove Lover and they're very gaudy. Like, I'm going to make the executive decision and say they're not bright yellow but bright blue because mm. no. But uh they are very gaudy, but uh he puts them on. He takes off his old clothes and he puts them on. Yep. Uh I am got those at Glorp shop, but eh, they never fit me. Fit you though. Well, and he reaches into his own hammer space, and mm -hmm. he reaches into his own hammer space, and he takes out a pocket watch. It, it's not the pocket watch from Clark Star <laughs> to be exact, because he did like consider it, but then he 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 figured that. Gil already knew the spell, and also was he really going to enable Gil by giving him something that could cast suggestion? It's just a regular pocket watch. Hey, hey, oh, stop uh, it. thank you. He's gonna, um, that's a pretty pocket watch. Um, you know what? Uh, roll insight real quick. <laughs> oh boy, because he's so good at that. <laughs> Ooh. Oh yeah. Um remember the last time you <coughs> Marcel gave a uh, a mug? Yeah. That times 2 is the emotion that is showing on Gil's face right now. He oh. really oh. likes the pocket watch. <laughs> Aww. Mm -hmm. I think, like, he will kiss Gil a moment, like, he'd pat their shoulder a little, like, he'd test it, and then pat their shoulder, like, pat his shoulder with his hand, and then he'll, like, give Gil a moment to collect himself. <laughs> no, Soto! No! Soto! No, he, I guess, I guess he's going to chase down Rat and give Rat's gift first, then. Rat, Rat is, Rat has been, uh, Cons uh, has just been absorbed uh, by the etch sketch It's just... This hey. is a kid that is getting toys. Hey, hey, Rat, I've got something for you. Do it, do it. And I'm just gonna... 
Yes, I know they're in his apartment. Yes, he is still rolling hammer space because with both Sandy and Gil in his apartment, he hid his gifts where they would be less like. <laughs> they would never be found. They would never find it in his hammer space. But yeah. <laughs> he thinks out like he thinks out like a, another like gift. And this one is actually wrapped with like the you know like those really cute like children's wrapping paper that like uh, if you are a kid, you just love like tearing apart or like folding away and keeping, depending on which kid you are. Uh -huh. mm. Yeah, it's one of those. So I'm going to give that to Rad. And if Rad opened it, he'll find a big book of like a big book of fairy tales, complete with like complete with a lot of like well drawn illustrations and pictures and just. The etch -a sketch has now been put in the hammer space, and Rad is now, and Rad is now reading, is now plopped, still plopped on the floor, but now with this big book in his lap, and he's just reading so through it. Soto, welcome back. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. Are you okay? What happened? Yeah, yeah no, it's just I had to do a, a thing real quick. Sorry. Hugs. 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 How you many know presents it, have we got left to give out? I'm just very conscious of the time. Yeah. <laughs> That's all. I, I hate to rush you. Sure. We have to wait. Sorry, so uh, I will just. I think I will like just forego rolling if we're gonna rush. Um, Sal, Sal gives Bob a scrapbooking kit because oh, he, because he knows Bob's like Bob likes you know organizing writing um um writing in his notebooks and he thought that Bob would enjoy scrapbooking so he got him like the kit for that. Yeah, scrapbooking has actually become a, a new hobby for Bob. Oh, so he oh. absolutely loves it. And he gives Sandy this. A snow globe. Aww. Uh -huh. Aww. It's she beautiful. looks at it in marble and then like, like opens up her mouth with a question mark in her eyes. Like, no, no, no. No, no, not to eat. Not to oh. eat. Okay. Uh, you can, uh, but you can, you can touch it and play with it however much you want. Okay, it's pretty. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. She gives yeah. them. All, she she goes and gives them all a hug. Aww. Aww. Oh, just rubber hose. Anyway, I still have, I still have my gifts to give out. Um. Oh. Sandy, could you um, could you bring out your lollipop for a second? Uh, sure. And she brings it out. Oh, yeah, let's just go rolling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, narrative time. Yeah, uh, Bob will, will take Sandy's present, and because she has her lollipop out, he will open it for her. And what he brings out is a little charm bracelet with little charms on it, and he will hook it, he will hook it on to Sandy's lollipop if she's okay with it. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, um, so don't, don't throw it while we're inside, but... Um, you should be able to th throw your lollipop if you want, and it should come back to you. <gasps> That's so cool! So, uh, so that charm bracelet, Sandy, if you want to put it on... The charm bracelet is is the thing with the infusion, so if you put it on any of your weapon, any weapons that you have, uh, they will have the infusion return weapon. Oh my gosh, that's- and I've, oh my gosh. I'm gonna preface that I've passed all of these through with Kai first, so... <laughs> so these are legal. So these are legal. I swear, I've got them approved. This is why Bob has no money. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh, now Bob will go over to Gil. Uh, Gil, uh, out of everyone I know, you have to be the most chaotic person I have ever met. <laughs> so in that case, uh, considering how much trouble you get in, I want to make sure you're safe. So and Bob pulls, uh, gives Gil his present, and if he unwraps it. It's a, um, uh, I want to say, I want to make Gil roll for it, but at the same time, I don't. So I'm just going to say, Gil, you're pretty sure, this looks kind of like the pot lid from Glorp's shop, but it's been, it looks like it's been reinforced and it's been painted over to have the psychopomp symbol on it. And this shield will now give you a plus two to your AC. Oh my God. Oh my God. Amazing. Uh, and then Bob, Bob will go to, actually no, uh, I don't know if Gil has a response to that or not. Gil, 
Gil's just staring at it, and he blinks a couple of times before giving uh, Bob a grin. Thanks, Bob. And Bob just smiles before going to Marcel, and he goes, uh, Marcel, could I see your hat real quick? See what? Uh, your hat. My hat? And yes. he, he takes it off and, like, gives it to Bob. Which is honestly kind of, like, surprising, because, you know, it's his hammer space, and he's usually really possessive of it. Uh, Bob's aware of this. Uh, he knows that Marcel doesn't go anywhere without it, which is why uh, Bob is going to put... Bob takes out a little pin that looks like a pancake. Uh, Aww. And with this, and this pin, Marcel says he's aware that you are a warlock, and you don't have a lot of spell slots. Uh, so what this pin does is you now have another cantrip that you can use. Holy shit! Bob. Oh my gosh! Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my god! I have, I have used the excuse that Bob has money and Bob's an artificer, so he can do stuff, and Kai let me, so. Alright, um, <laughs> will, will Bob tell Sal, like, what the pin does? Yeah, yeah, Bob will tell Sal. Bob is tell- yeah, Bob will tell all of you what these items do. Okay, I hope Bob, like, I hope Bob, like, is prepared for Sal to, like, just, like, just giggle and, like, a giggle that escalates into, like, kind of evil-sounding cackles, if we're being honest. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bob, Bob is, Bob is, is somewhat aware that he's, he's enabled all of them. He's aware that he's enabled all of these, these goons, <laughs> but... Yeah, I figure I figure you're all gonna get in trouble whether I say anything or not. So I at least want you all to be as prepared, be prepared. I guess. You, Bob. But also, you do get in as much trouble as we do these days. I well, I yeah, actually, yeah. I just stole. Oh God, I just stole something from a museum. <laughs> <laughs> we are criminals. We already oh. were. I mean, stealing life. something from a museum is, you know, par for the course. It's something I do on a Tuesday. Yeah, uh, I mean, you could argue that museums steal, or steal as it is, so you're technically on taking it back. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to imagine the the scene, um, unless there's any more Christmas presents we have to hand out, Animus presents, I mean. Is that all of them? Sandy, nope. have you yeah. have given Sandy something? No, what? it was yeah, the, the, the let throw. Yeah, All yeah, right. Jump bracelet. Cool. Just so in that case, I like to imagine that the, the f well, five, because Rad is, Rad is a real boy now, um, sort of enjoying a really companionable um, laughter as the scene sort of pans up and away at the sort of, yeah, we just robbed a museum. That's, that's fine. And... Um, I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that Marcel has pr um, prepared a fantastic animus dinner for everybody. Yep. Yep. And that's where we're going to leave it on that very, very pleasant note. Thank you so much, guys, for playing this with me. <laughs> yeah, that was so fun. I'm still it was great. With giving Sandy trauma, but that was so fun. Gosh, oh, I, there was yeah. so much drama. Yeah, that, oh, I yeah. Was, also, I'm so sorry for the for this such the long the long uh, interlude between. We actually, it have really, fun. despite the we interlude, we're not actually that far above like the set time. Like it's only no, half, not half seven. Too bad. I I shouldn't be too late. So it's all good. Um, but quickly before um I hang up and desperately go and pick my husband and baby up to go to this concert, I have. A animas gift for all of you. Oh, okay. yeah. <gasps> oh! Oh my God! <laughs> I, wait, wait! I looked somewhere else. I'm not looking. Wait, I, ah! I, I turned this. No, I took. Level six. What? Level six. You we guys all get to level up six. to level six. Yeah. Oh, Bob God. is already level six. <laughs> I think he is because he's level five artificer and level. Can I just level up wizardry? Because he's level one wizard. 
Sure. Oh, I didn't realize. I didn't realize you were on level six already. Level six. That's already level six. <laughs> oh, I, didn't, I didn't. I didn't look at that. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I'm willing to give up a level in art in his artificer to, and give it, and just switch it over to wizard. Yeah, sure, yeah. I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, but that means you guys get to uh, do a little bit of editing on your sheets before uh, you get to have a walk down memory lane tomorrow. So that is my gift to you guys. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, and Rad gets to level up. Oh, yay. Because Rad's level three. <laughs> I can finally and, do it. Woo! Woo! And with that, I am going to go ahead and end the recording. Thank you very much, everybody. Say bye. 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 bye.